everybody, welcome back to another case break. Today, we are doing a 2020 recent release mixer break. We've got a whole bunch of stuff up here. We've got um, Chronicles, we've got Bowman Chrome, we've got Topps Chrome, we've got Immaculate, we've got a, just a couple boxes of Allen & Ginter, we've got a bunch of triple threads, and we've got a bunch of gold labels, so lots of stuff to go through. Let's go ahead and get started, get some of this, uh, I don't know, residue off the screen from our last break, the baseball card exchange, um, authenticated break, that's left over from that, so here we go. First box up, we're going to start with Gold Label, and I'm going to jump all over the place, here, there, and everywhere, so it's not just going to be like Gold Label for an hour and a half, and then we do Triple Threads for an hour and a half. It's going to be Mix and Match. So our first box of Gold Label, this is for Stephen. Best of luck to you, Stephen. Let's see what we can find in spot number one. As you remember, there's seven packs in here. One of those packs will be extra heavy, and that pack will have a framed... Gold framed autographed card. Hope it's something good. All right, so there it is. It's that top pack. Tyler says, Congrats on 75k. Excited for a great stream tonight. Thank you very much, Tyler. Uh, yeah, it's five minutes late, Aiden. Sorry, I was uh, had to do a couple different things. Uh, very busy weekend for me here. And um, actually, Heather and I just got back not too long ago from the Washington, D.C. area. So here we go, Stephen. We'll start with the quote-unquote regular cards. Uh, of course, the autograph will be in that last pack. I'm not going to call it all the different classes. Class 3s are the hardest ones to find. They're one in every two packs. Schultz's card pool is in the house. There's a Zach Gallon rookie card. Kind of a nice one right there. Tim Anderson. Keith, thank you very much for the kind words. And Jack Townsend says, Hey, Jazz, my school is canceled because of the virus tomorrow. Three cases also. Um, my, the starting nine came, got a hot box and a booklet hot, <laughs> just about another one. So Jack, really, uh, sorry to hear that about your school. Stay safe. And, um, uh, there's a nice Luis Robert. I thank you very, very much for the support of the channel, Jack. We'll be seeing Jack in here. I believe you're in here eventually. I don't remember exactly what spot you're at, but we'll get to you. There's a Vladi Guerrero and Robin Yount for Steven. All right, Steven, here's your autograph. Let's see what we can find for you. We've got Mike Trout as the first card right there. And the autograph, it's going to be a Marlin. So it's probably going to be, I don't know, Jordan Yamamoto or Isan Diaz. And it is Jordan Yamamoto. So there we go. So, Stephen, thank you very much. Usually with Gold Label, it's usually like one giant hit in the entire case. All right. So, Stephen, thank you very much. All right. Where should we go next? I've got all these different things. How about we go... And let's do a triple threads. I've got a bunch of triple threads to do tonight. So triple threads is the good stuff, at least in my opinion. A mess of things is I think last night's game cost me a hundred off my earrings. People were so engrossed they forgot to order food. Or off my earnings. Sorry, I misread that. <laughs> a mess of things, thank you very much. Yeah, the um pretty crazy ending to last night's World Series game four, if you didn't see it. The Rays walked it off, and A-Rod's up right now with a master of triple threads. Pretty crazy ending there with uh, two errors to end the game. Basically, if you, you missed what happened, there's a single hit to center by two, like someone, Brett Phillips or something, and um, tying run scored, which is Kevin Kiermeyer on a uh, Chris Taylor bobble out in the outfield, a pretty bad bobble. Got away from him. He probably would have scored anyway. But then um, Randy Arzarena got waved around on the bobble, and he would have been absolutely dead to rights at home plate. He actually stumbled and fell down headfirst while rounding third base. And uh, then Will Smith missed the, the relay throw. Pretty easy relay throw from Max Muncy. And then Arzarena got up, came home, and that was it. And there's Daddy Daughter Car Breaks with a $5 or no, $20 super chat. Says, Thank you so very much to each and every one of you who have helped Sydney and I get to 1,000 subscribers. They just hit it. I know they're at 998 about 20 minutes ago. So they've just hit the 1,000 mark. It says this means so much to us. We can't wait to see you guys in our live streams. Huge thanks to Eric Jabs. This was not possible without you. Daddy, daughter, car breaks. Congratulations on 1K. And uh, that's pretty awesome. Celebrate. 
the one K and it, I guess I'll always remember that because it literally happened now. What time is it? Eight, four hours before my birthday. Jesus Lusard out of 275. My birthday is, I think it's like right around midnight. I was born at a weird time on a, the night of October 25th, like right after midnight. And the doctors had to all get together and figure out my exact um, hour of birth because it was the night the, uh, the clocks were sent back. So I always remember, Daddy Daughter, the, uh, <laughs> the anniversary of your 1K. All right, so there's Clayton Kershaw. Thank you very much. And how about a Nick Solak? Thanks, guys. Nick Solak, rookie card out of 99 is the auto. And the first one, I hope you guys will check out Daddy Daughter. Daddy Daughter says, my wife's birthday is today, Eric. So you guys are super close. Happy one to you, man. Thank you very much. The big 4-0. Happy birthday to your wife. There's Trevor Story for A-Rod. So that box, not terribly interesting in terms of like a monster hit. But luckily, A-Rod bought both sides of the box. So I'm thinking there's going to be a pretty good one in this one to kind of balance out that kind of average at best mini box. Tops Threads usually never disappoints. Stone Breaks, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. So we have Raphael Devers on the back. We got there's a um, Altuve, Aloy Jimenez, and Chipper Jones. Daddy Daughters got the link right there. If you'd like to check out our Patreon page, Raphael Devers, 226 of 275. Mike Piazza out of 199. So here's the hits. Let's hope we have something good in here. And Juan Moncada is your first hit. It's out of 27. Katie, hey, how's it going? Keith, thank you very much. Here it is. The autograph. Let's hope it's a big one. And it's a Matt Olson out of nine. Matt Olson auto out of nine right there. Uh, Alex, my birthday is tomorrow, actually. It's slightly after midnight, so I'll be the big 4-0. Happy birthday to your dad. That's pretty cool that we share the same birthday. All right, so A-Rod, thank you very much. Box number one of the um, triple threads is in the books. Where do we go next? How about we go and do a Bowman Chrome? Sullivan says, watch you open packs. Cheers me up every day. Sullivan, thank you very much for the kind words. I really appreciate that. And Perel, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. Owen says, hey, Jasmine, looking forward to this all week. Even finished my homework yesterday early so I could watch. That's awesome. Thank you very much for being here. Camille with a $10 super chat. Camille, thank you for the support. Let's hope we can find some good stuff tonight, huh, Camille? I don't think Camille's in this round, but she is has been in, in a lot of our breaks. Our next break coming up, um, it looks like it's going to be on Thursday. It'll be the 1983 to 1985 Baseball Card Exchange Authentication Authenticated Box Break. Thank you very much, Justin and Edward. Appreciate the birthday wishes. All right, let's see what we can find. Jack says, what time do you think this break will go to, Jabs? Well... I don't know, Jack. I told Heather it would probably be about two and a half hours. That was just a total guess. Um, a lot of these boxes are, they're not bulky boxes, per se. A lot of the boxes only have like 30 cards in them, maybe. All right, so here we go, Joshua. Your first mini box. There's one autograph per. Let's see what we can find. Anthony Volpe on base percentage stat tracker card is a pretty nice one. Chat, Chatham, thank you very much. El Canon, yes, there's plenty of spots left, actually. And Logan O'Hop is the auto right there. Nice one right there. Jeter's Life says, what would you spend on a mystery box if you're looking for big hits? Well, if you're looking for big hits, you want to go, um, you probably want to go around 125. I think a lot of the high-end boxes are right around that price tag, about $125. So like the big bat box, high-end version. There's Tyler Stevenson, nice out of 150. Robert Pawson, good one right there. Daddy Daughter's got the link for Jeter's Life. I hope you check out Jeter's Life, and thank you for the question. I would say 100 to 125. If you spend like 30, you're not going to probably get a lot of... Uh, I mean, you'll get some nice cards, but you might not have the same odds of finding an autograph. Micaiah says, hey, Jabs, tomorrow's my man's birthday. To <laughs> His name's Jack. We both have the same birthday. Well, happy birthday um, to your man, and uh, tell him that he shares the same birthday as me. All right, so Joshua, the first one is in the books. Let's check out the second mini box for you. One auto down. Zachary says, what's popping? It's the first stream I ever caught. Nice to have you here, man. Hope you come back for more of these. We don't do live streams all the time. Um, probably like 
once or twice a week. We'll be back again on Thursday, it looks like. Keep the hobby alive in the house. Michael, thank you for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate that. Hope everybody had a nice weekend. Baseball in five, thank you very much. Heather and I went down to Washington, D.C. We went to the Chantilly show in Washington, D.C. today, and um, kind of a lot of sticker shock down there for me. A lot of post, um, uh, post-pandemic post pricing on the cards. Schultz's Card Pool says, Happy early birthday, Jabs. Almost at 1,200 because of you and your follower support. I'm starting Patreon breaks as well. Thanks for the inspiration, Schultz's Card Pools. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Jack, my birthday is... Um, I was born right after midnight on October 26th, so my birthday's in a couple hours. There's Brenton Doyle, first Bowman. So you got a couple first Bowman's position players. And there's Byron Laura, nice one right there. Nico Horner. Uh, Timmy Tea Time says, Eric, I went to the mall show today. It's the first time I ever left without buying anything. And uh, I'll let you know. Thank you very much, drinking and breaking. Um, I went to the mall show yesterday. I did buy some stuff. I picked up, um, I probably spent about $300, but most of it was just buying stuff for the YouTube channel to break. I bought um, a bunch of Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes um, and a couple cards for myself, but there wasn't a whole lot of, uh, besides that, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, singles and stuff that really like drew me in. Wasn't the, uh, wasn't the, I don't know. A lot of the prices were a little bit higher. I guess you, you probably know what I'm talking about. Gary says, how can I get in on the card pools? Joshua, thank you very much. Well, you can sign up on my Patreon page. It's $3 a month for access to all of our breaks. Let's see what we can find now coming up next. How about we do, um, let's go ahead and do a Chronicles box. Anyone feel up for a Chronicles box? I'm up for a Chronicles box. Three autographs and one relic per box. Marcus is up right now. Best of luck to you, Marcus. Let's see what we can find. Brandon's calling three one-of-ones tonight. I hope so. There's only six packs in Chronicles, and there's four hits in here. So, All right, let's see. Andrew says, happy birthday, Eric. You got me back in the hobby. That's awesome. Always love hearing that. Thank you very much for letting me know. What do I think of Randy Arozarena? I feel like, I don't know, he kind of reminds me of a young Andrew McCutcheon, honestly. There's Jonathan Daza. That's going to be a nice autograph and a relic right there. Like that one. Uh, how much are the boxes? There's Beau Bichette. Well, uh, they're all different prices. There's an Obsidian, Harper. If I could... Oh, well, I forget what. Uh, how much did Chronicles cost me after all those fees and everything. Um, $149 per box. Lacey, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. Glad to have you back in the hobby. There's Gavin Lux. A couple Gavin Lux cards at Beau Bichette. And we have a Jake Bowers... Do they still have the baseball card show at the at the Johnstown Mall? Yes, they do. I th three Gavin Lux in that pack. I don't know the exact. Um, I don't know their schedule, but might want to go and check it out and see. I don't know where they even advertise that. I'm on their email list because I used to actually sell at their card shows at least a couple times. There's Luis Robert rookie card. Andrew, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. The big four zero for me. There's Robbie Cano. There's a big card show in Valley Forge. Might have to check that one out. Uh, let's see. Alex says, are you going to keep the stream going after midnight just to celebrate your birthday here? That would be fun. Well, I don't know, Alex. We'll see how long this goes. I don't really have any other plans for after the stream ends except for maybe go to bed. <laughs> so there's Bryce Harper. Dustin May. Dustin May, game used jersey. Thank you, Keith. Thank you very much, Fraylin. Really appreciate that. What else do we have here? We have Nolan Arenado. We have Jake Rogers. And there is Aristides Aquino. What do we got? Two autographs left. Baseball in five. Thank you very much. Marcus, you got a Logan Allen there. Flip this around for you. Jose Ramirez. It looks like your auto is going to be our guy, Anthony K. That one's numbered out of 199. Fat Italian and Elliot Briggs. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Tracy says, happy birthday, old man. The best YouTube channel in the community. Thank you very much, Jason. Really appreciate that. Pack cards, thank you. All right, here's our last pack for Marcus of Chronicles. Uh, how much for a spot? They're all different prices, honestly. Um, they differed. Like, the highest one we have is uh, Triple Threads, which was 319 for a... Um, 
a master box. Nice Christian Yelich. That's a nice looking card right there. Numbered out of 99. So Marcus, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Mike and Carter, thank you so much. All right, Marcus is in the books. Troy, thank you. All right, who's up next after Marcus? Let's go and uh, how about we do a 2020 Chrome do a chrome jumbo five autographs in here jeter's life thank you very much where's my chrome uh guys all right our first chrome box is going to be tim m i sold this by the half box if anybody wanted the half box but everyone actually ended up wanting a full box of these how does the patreon thing work well it's three dollars per month it gives you access to all of my the stuff that i do there which is basically sell breaks and spots to my videos and also uh, usually once or twice a week have a Patreon only video that you can only see over there. All right, Tim, let's see what we can find for you. You got the whole box. We'll just rip down through a whole side. Randy Arzarena with nine postseason home runs, just absolutely going crazy. He is, um, I got to say that he's probably the biggest surprise of the year, wouldn't you say? James, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Nice, nice birthday emojis. Heather is making me a cake right now, and I cannot wait to taste that. Her cooking is absolutely amazing. I think it's a chocolate brownie with um, cake with Reese's, crushed Reese's peanut butter cups, which is my favorite candy. All right, so you got a big stack here, Tim. Let's see what we've got for you. There's five autographs per box. I saw a bunch of chrome at the Nationals. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Our first hit out of chrome! It is a Randy Arizarena. He's like Babe Ruth now in the playoffs and World Series. He won the ALCS MVP. He was, what, three for four yesterday? He might be the World Series MVP if the Rays can win it. It is going to be on a 50 on the back. 34 of 50. That is going to be quite a valuable card right there, Tim. I don't know, like a month ago, we would have been like, oh, wow, Randy Arzarenian kind of like likening him to Jordan Yamamoto or Isan Diaz, but man, has he turned everything upside down. Randy Arzarenian, we're getting excited about that one. Tim, congratulations, and I know that you have a smiley face on your face right now. Great hit right there. And the mess of things says they'll be turning off some people's power for extreme fire danger, hopefully not in the middle of an amazing game tonight. That would be pretty awful if that would happen. I know that they just updated uh, our systems out here. We had a four-hour outage overnight last night. That is a great pull right there. The hottest player just talking about Arizarania. Uh, yeah, remember when Arizarania autographs were only $5 a piece? Now he is, uh, man, he's just really just taken. M Look, you got a Randy Arizarania autograph. Very, very nice. That's what you want. Of course, the Cardinals probably sitting by thinking, oh boy, why did we just let him go? All right, um, there is Charlie Blackman, Jose Altuve. There's going to be more autographs coming out of Chrome. Everybody loves Chrome. I love Chrome. You might love Chrome as well. Timothy says that Arizona card is a $730 card. That's pretty awesome. Amazing stuff right there. Wow, only one autograph on that entire... Well, I guess we have this other stack here. Troy says, hey, Jabs, I'm remembering when your channel had 12,000 subs, and that's when I sub. Congrats on 75K. Thank you very much. And Ethan Zelvis covers more, says, happy early birthday. I'm almost at 5,000. Ethan Zelvis covers. Congratulations, man. Hope you'll check his channel out and help him grow. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Our next autograph out of the five is a Rogelio Armenteros. Not a lot of value to that one, unfortunately. James says, you never know when a player will dial it in. That's why I collect them all. Yeah, all the rookie cards, if you ever just dump your cards like your quote-unquote commons, you might want to just hang on to the rookies just in case because look how fast Arizona turned it around. Nice Josh Hader blue. Uh, currently, that card is $955 on eBay with 23 hours left, Tim, according to a couple people. And Matthew says that that gold just sold for $1,000. So we have our first $1,000 card of the video. It's for Tim M. Tim, congratulations. That's pretty awesome. Kyle Lewis. And it's who would have thought? Randy Arzarenia, $1,000 auto now. Jack Towns says, "How do you think? How long do you? Uh, how long till my break? Do you think? I have no idea. Um, let me take a look real quick at the um, list right here. Jack, where are you at? I can't find you. Looking on. Oh, Jack Townsend. 
you're in gold label number three, you'll be up soon. Maybe like definitely less than an hour. Someone asked, how does the shipping work for this? Well, that's all factored in. It's just one price per box. Like I'll buy the boxes or a case, figure out what I paid, and then I'll add like 2.9% for PayPal fee. And a majority of my uh, Patreon members are the $3 members. So I might add in a couple extra bucks for shipping. Jacob, you can still get in. There's plenty of spots available, except there's no more. I've got uh, no more triple threads left, unfortunately. The K3 bomb, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. No, I ship about once a month, Kenny. I There's no way I could ship weekly. I, I have um, just, there's just too much to ship. I would not be able to do it um, that often, unfortunately. All right, so here we go, Tim. What can we find for you? Uh, there's a Corey Kluber. Can't say his name all of a sudden. Keston Hira, Bo Bichette. How do you get in on the break? You sign up on Patreon for it. Just say, hey, I'm interested in this spot, and uh, I'll send you an invoice through PayPal. Once you pay, your name's on the list. Pretty good box there. There's a nice Zach Gallon, Dylan Cease. Picked up a bunch of this card, not the refractor, but... Bunch of this card at the card show today in Chantilly, Virginia, near Washington, D.C. 20 cents a piece for that. They're all in the 10 cent box. And he's like, well, you know, the rookie cards, they're a little bit more. So I was like, all right. There's Alex Young. Nice one right there. Um, what else do we have coming up here? There's Aloy Jimenez. Here's the last part of it. Don says, I live 15 minutes from Chantilly. Had no idea that there was a card show. Yikes. Yeah, pretty big one. It, it costs $10 to get in. Actually, $5. We did the half-day pass. There's Travis Lackins autograph. So, nice one right there. Of course, the big one's going to end up being the Randy Arzarena. There's a Tony Gonsolin. And Brian Z says, happy birthday, Eric. Your AARP card is on the way. <laughs> Brian, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Nice Tony Gonsolin autograph. AARP card. Yep, the big 4-0 for me, unfortunately. It's just a number there, right? At least that's what I keep telling myself. Highlight, thank you very much. Have I ever done an 89 break? I, not a, like a case break. I've done box breaks of that before a few times. What else can we find for Tim? So, Tim, a really nice spot right there. Uh, Elliot, it's 150 for the entire box, for Chronicles. All right, Tim, let me put these cards in their spot until I can get around to sleeving everything up for you. All right, who's up next? Where do I turn now? Lots of different products to open up tonight. How about we go to Styling? Thank you very much. You got to be a member on my Patreon page. How about we do this high-end one right here? $300 a box. It's immaculate. Let's do it. I love Immaculate. Some people hate Panini, but um, I think this product's really, really nice. You saw us open this in um, Face Off Friday. Luis Roberts back in the house. Thanks for the birthday wishes. And you too, Jason. Thank you very much. Found a nice, a very, very nice autograph of Fernando Tatis in our last box of Immaculate in Face Off Friday. So, Andrew, let's see what we can find for you. Where do I find card supplies? I just continuously buy them online. All right, Andrew, so let's see what we've got. We know that we have Josh Hader leading things off. Let's flip these over. All right, so Hader's your first card. That one's out of 25. Nice one right there for Andrew. Um, Mary, I, most of them have been sent out. Um, I believe actually yours has been sent out as well. Yeah, yours definitely was sent out because I remember typing in your email address into stamps. Marcus Fossil Art says, thanks for the nice pulls. Hey, you should have received a package I sent you for your Mystery Mondays. Let me know what you think. Thanks, Marcus. Uh, I did see that, and it is in my hopper of stuff to open up. So I'll check it out. Thank you very much, Marcus. And um, you had a nice box here. What did you have? Was it Chronicles? Thanks for your support. There's a nice immaculate Ichiro All-Star card. Um, hmm. Not a... Uh, not a relic or anything there. That's kind of interesting. I'm confused. Next up, we have a eye patch card of Ronald Bolanos. Peyton Sports Cards. Thank you very much. That one's out of 25. After that, we have good old 
Nelly Cruz, possible future Hall of Famer. Four out of ten. Nice low number there. Daddy Daughter's got the link right there for you. Next up, we have a Michael Baez out of 99. Michael Baez. And the last card for Andrew is going to be a debut moment, Jonathan Daza. Jonathan Daza. Andrew, thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, next up, we are going to go to Gold Label. Let's do some Gold Label now and see what we can find. Hopefully, it's some good stuff. Zach, how's it going? All right, back to Gold Label. We're going to jump all around. Let's do two boxes of Gold Label because Jack has been asking. So let's, uh, Jack, you're, we'll do Brandon and then yours. Stalling says, how do you get into a break? You have to be a member of my Patreon page, then you sign up there. It's $3 per month. Zach, thank you very much for being here. Nothing else in there. All right, so Michael says, I was collecting cards before Eric was even born. <laughs> uh, Greg says, have you mailed my Ken Griffey Jr. card yet? Well, I'm not exactly sure. I think that was a plain white envelope card. Let me see here, Greg, if I have it on my shelf. Greg, guess what, buddy? It's all ready to go. I just have not put the. Um, I just have not had a chance to go and get the um, the the uh, extra ounce stamps. But it's ready to go, man. I'll get it out when I can get a chance to go and pick up those extra ounce stamps that are required, so your card doesn't get ripped to shreds through the sorting machine. A couple of those giveaways are waiting on those extra ounce stamps. Just have to go into the post office, stand in line, which. If there's a line, I usually just drop my stuff down. A lot of the times, I'll just go to the back door and just drop it off and just ring the doorbell, and they'll, they'll give me a cart, especially the last couple times I've done it that way. There's Jordan Alvarez. Nice one right there. We've got an out of 75 Xander Bogarts for Brandon. Nice one right there. I do not sell on eBay, only Patreon, just uh, box breaks. There's a nice Bo Bichette. That's a class two. A mess of things says Kazoo Fanfare for a gold label hit. We'll see. There's a nice Shane Bieber getting some nice color in this one so far out of 50. That's a class two. He's batting. They have all the pitchers batting on their class two cards, which is kind of interesting to say the least, I guess. Mike Schmidt, Chris Sale. What else can we find? Daryl Strawberry, AJ Puck rookie card. Kyle Lewis will get that one to sleep for you, Brandon. All right, here's the moment of truth for Brandon. It's the gold label card. These packs are always really heavy, so you can always tell which one has the gold label. we got a Robbie Cano, and it is a giant. Is that going to be Logan Webb? Yep, it's Logan Webb out of 75. So let's do another gold label. Brandon, thank you very much. All right, Jack, you've been waiting very patiently for your gold label spot, and now it's your time, man. Best of luck to you. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully there's something decent here. Let me get Brandon's cards put in the 5,000 count box. All righty. Let me pull the first one off the top. Here we go. The very top one at the top of the mountain of the gold label cards. We just had a $1,000 card so far. For those of you asking what the best card is so far, Randy Arzarania Gold Wave autograph out of Chrome. All right, Jack. What can we find for you? Here we go. Where do I buy all my large collections? Usually I find them online. If you look around and look at different places that people post stuff like that on, like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or any of those places, you sometimes come across big collections, people just wanting to get rid of their stuff. Here we go, Jack. T, let's find something good for you. We've got Jackie Robinson as the first card there. The Manny Machado is out of 150. We'll sleeve that one up. How much have Randy, Randy's cards gone up? Randy Arizarena's cards have gone up like tenfold, twentyfold. I don't know. It's 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 nuts. Um, Justin says you might as well just do another gold label box. I'll tell you what. If we have a a mediocre hit, I'll do another one after it. How about that? Anthony Rendon, numbered card right there. Ken Griffey Jr., J.D. Martinez, Mookie Betts, Zach Gallon rookie card, and there's Kyle Ripken Jr. All right, Jack, here we go. Justin, <laughs> I see Justin's the next person up. That's why he wants his box broken. We'll do it for you. 
Oh, we might have a big hit right now. I see an Angels hat, so could it be Mike Trout gold label autograph? Get out of here! It's a Mike Trout gold label autograph for Jack Townsend! Four out of 15! You're looking at, I don't know, probably... Is this going to be another $1,000 card? We just pulled a $1,000 card 20 minutes ago, and now we have a Mike Trout... Four out of 15, Javier says that is a $1,000 card right there. Fat Italian says that's a $1,200 card. Jack, you wanted us to open your box and you got it, man. A huge hit right there. Mike Trout, gold label. Styling says that is $1,600. Now, it makes it a little difficult. Uh, it's out of 15, so it's a much lower number than maybe like an unnumbered Mike Trout uh, gold label framed auto is. I don't know. Uh, definitely over $1,000. We're seeing as high as $2,000 in the chat right now as folks go and research what this card sells for on eBay. So $1,500 to $2,000 on that one. And uh, yeah, Jack just asked, hey, when's, when's my box going to be broken? I was like, oh, within the next hour. And I do it like 10 minutes later. He's probably not in. There he is. Jack says, holy crap. I think I'm about to have a heart attack. Jack, thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. A huge hit right there. Mike Trout, we'll just call it $1,500. I saw a lot of $1,200, $1,500, all the way up to $2,000. That's a big one right there. $1,600 on eBay, says Coopers. So we've got two cards that we've pulled already. We're not, only half an hour in, worth $1,000 or more. The 357 says, happy birthday, hit of the month. Thank you very much, 357. I really appreciate that. That was a nice one. Jack, congratulations. Let's do one more gold label. Why not? I think I promised Justin that I would do it if we had a crappy hit, and then boom, we have the biggest hit of the, of the whole live stream. We'll do it for you now, Justin. You missed it by one box, man. It's a very, very close. Let's do another gold label. Um, that's the thing that says, that's the power of the kazoo. Send finders fee. That's right. He said it. He was sending the power of the kazoo our way, and there it was. Juan says, I always know when a good card is pulled because Mr. Eric takes a deep breath. <laughs> That was a nice one right there. I could not believe it. Mike, I saw the Angels hat, and I was I was kind of expecting, like, Matt Feiss. I was uh, pretty much sure that it was going to be Matt Feiss, like rookie auto, but no, it's the big guy, Mike Trout. Jack says, best card of my collection for sure. Jack, congratulations on that monster hit right there. Justin says, it seems like I always miss it by one box. Well, let's see what you have in your box right here, Justin. We'll do another gold label, then we'll get back to jumping all around with uh, the mixer. Jabs, what is your favorite product of 2020 this year? I like triple threads. I agree. I also like triple threads. And Mike says, hey, Jabs, if I switch from the $3 to the $51 tier, should I wait until November 1st? You could do it now, and I'll, I'll get you a, uh, a $51 package out. The package this month has uh, five packs plus an Allen & Ginter blaster in it. Next month, it'll also have five packs, five new packs, along with a 2020 update blaster in it. So uh, there's a nice Daryl Strawberry. It's not too late if you want to switch and get that October pack. I always make up usually about a dozen extras for people to add on throughout the month. Fat Italian, thank you very much for the thumbs up. Luis Robert is in the house as my auto is in the next pack. Did you sign a bunch for this, Luis Robert? I can't remember if you are a redemption in this or not. There's each go Mookie Betts, Aquino... Yeah, Jack, that was the best hit that we've had. That probably will be the top hit of the stream. Let's see what Justin's gold label card is. we got Walker Bueller there, Class 3, which is pretty nice. There's Robin Yount. And your hit, it's going to be a Cincinnati... No, a Chicago Cub. Um, that's going to be good old... It's a good one. Nico Horner is not bad. Nico Horner, rookie card out of 75. That's a pretty... Uh, that's a solid one right there. I bet you this card's worth 50 bucks at least, I would imagine. Heather says, hi, does everyone know tomorrow is your big 40th birthday? <laughs> Heather's here. I mentioned earlier, Heather, that tomorrow's the big day. And um, I said you were probably making the cake right now. I can't wait to taste it. I, I can't tell you how good everything Heather makes is. Like, I think I've mentioned it before, but literally the best cook in the entire universe. I just, man. Heather, thank you very much for being here. I'm glad to, to see that you made it back safely from the supermarket. 
And uh, I really enjoyed spending all day today with you on our little road trip down to Washington, D.C. Let's do some triple threads. Heather, we just pulled a Mike Trout autograph out of 15. It's worth like $1,600, a huge hit. And we pulled an, a Randy Arzarena earlier. It's worth 1000 bucks out of 50s. And triple play card says, hey, Jabs, I'm only nine away from 100. Triple play. Thank you very much. Help them get there, guys. We have 650 folks in here. Hope you'll check them out. Let's do triple threads. Who's my next triple thread contestant? Let me find that. Oh, it's a split box. It's Steven and Bradley. Best of luck to you guys. Jack says, when do you think all my cards will get shipped out? Well, Jack, are you on the $3 tier or what? I, I, I'm imagining if you haven't seen them shipped yet, you're likely going to be on that $3 tier. And those will be going out. I'm guessing I'm um, still finishing up a few different packages from the folks that get monthly stuff. I'm hoping that I can get them out by the end of this week. I will um, try my best because um, after I get all the monthly packages out, I'd like to get my shelves cleared. All right. So, yeah, that's a big hit. That's going to make – you're going to have to sign for that one, Jack. I don't want any porch pir pirates swiping that bad boy. So you're going to have to um, sign for that. And if you're not there, you're going to have to go pick it up at the post office with your ID. So here we go. Steven spot number three for triple threads. Best of luck to you. How do you get in on the case breaks, Rick? You have to be a member of my Patreon page. It's $3 per month. There's a link in the description. There's Yos Yoshi Satsugo struck out to lead off that crazy ninth inning yesterday. Fernando Tatis out of $2.99. We've got a Nolan Arnott out of $2.75. That's a nice one right there. And Steven, you're... First hit, it's going to be a, bro a Bobby Bradley. It's a Bobby Bradley out of 25. Nice looking card right there. Bobby Bradley. And your relic. It's going to be a triple Cubs relic for Steven. It is Anthony Rizzo. It's out of 18. Anthony Rizzo, Chris Bryant, and Javier Baez is the last one. Steven, thank you very much. Ethan says, how many Patreon members are there? Um, it differs from month to month, um, kind of fluctuates. There's far, 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 far more $3 members than uh, any other tier. Is, um, you know, that's uh, the cheapest one, and a lot of people just like to see the content there. So, Stephen, congratulations on that triple. But there's you, there's you if you're worried about getting in uh, on, like, a break like this, there's plenty of spots. Like, I have tons of boxes of Chrome, um, Bowman Chrome, Immaculate, the only thing I'm sold out of is uh, triple threads. So, Bradley, let's see what we can find for you. No, Alex, no giveaway tonight. What are the prices of the tiers? Justin, check out the uh, link in the description there. And um, you can see if um, any of those suit your fancy. Troy says, hey, got to head out after this box. Let's pull some heat. Let's see what we can do for Bradley from this triple threads box. All right, so we've got Brendan McKay as the first one there. Fernando Tatis Jr. There's Mark McGuire switching it upside down on me. Manny Machado is out of 199, and Cody Bellinger is out of 299. Very, very nice one right there. Uh, Gimmicky Fibers says, wondering about my brace. Gimmicky, send me an email. And I'll check it out. Mastercraft. I think I have you on the missing address. I have a whole shelf for missing addresses and it might be on there. I'll check it out for you. Send me an email just so I remember to do it. Do that. And Triple Play Cards is almost a 100. Appreciate the support. We have next a Mike Clevenger relic. That's a nice one. Numbered out of 27. Clevenger and the autograph. It is going to be a future Hall of Famer. Adrian Beltre, hot corner mastery, and that is a low number on that one. That's the hit of that box. Out of three, one of three, Adrian Beltre. Very, very nice. Bradley, congratulations. Mr. Uh, he's in the 3,000 hit club. He hates having his helmet touched or his head touched in general. Just ask his buddy Elvis Andrews. He's always messing with him in the dugout. BRD says, triple threads look so good. I agree. That's a great hit right there. Love the look of it. One of my favorite releases of the year, if not my favorite release of the year, is triple threads. Very, very nice one. All right, next up, we haven't done any Allen and Ginter yet. I only have, I think, four of these to do. Um, Baseball on five says, do you have any $500 Patreon people? Well, I don't have a $500 tier, so I, I have zero. $500 members. All right, Robert, let's do the Allen and Ginter box for you and see what we can find. Not a whole bunch of Allen and Ginters to do tonight. Like I said, just I think four total. We'll do one now and then we'll switch back over to probably 
immaculate after this. We'll see if we can find a rip card for Robert. There's three hits in each Allen and Ginter box, if you remember. There's relics, there's autographs, there's rip cards, there's... Um, I don't know. What else is there? Something else I think I'm forgetting. How much was the box with the Randy Eros Rania card? Uh, those were $419 for a jumbo hobby of chrome. Jake says, I hate Alan and Ginter. <laughs> some people love it. Some people hate it. Justin says, I really enjoy it. Well, if you hate it, you only have to sit through this for five minutes. And if you love it, you can enjoy the next five minutes immensely. So let's see what we have. For Robert, there's going to be one, hopefully at least one autograph. We'll just skip right over the weirdo cards. There's the first hit. It's an Andy Cohen game-used memorabilia. Trevor says, the worst product of the year is Alan and Ginter. Yeah, it's very, very divisive for sure. Robert H. says, happy birthday, Robert. Thank you very much for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate that. And Apollo says, if I sign for Patreon now, can I claim a box? Yeah, if you want to. I will um, allow you to buy in at the uh, later rounds of the break. I don't have any gallery. I haven't been able to find it anywhere. Um, not yet to the point where I'm going to go and spend a whole bunch of money on the um, overpriced eBay prices. There's a Keston Hira. All right. So first box or first um, stack of Allen and Ginter's in the books. Allen and Ginter, the, uh, probably the cheapest that I saw of the um, recent releases at the card show today. Kenneth, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. In terms of, um, you know, the resale price, this was the only thing I really saw at the uh, at retail price at the card show. All the other blasts and stuff I saw were all marked up, like $30 or more a piece. Like uh, Chronicles Blasters were like $35 there. George Blackman says, happy birthday. Thank you very much, George. Let's see what we can find. Just as those hobby boxes for 109 on Steel City. Yeah, they are. Uh, then factory and tax and shipping, they're going to be right around what I sell them for is my break-even point. There's Jack Towns says, is that Mike Trout getting a one-touch? I'll have to see if I have any, like 168.1 touches. I'll definitely get a soft sleeve and a top loader for sure. i got to see, though. I'm, I may have some of those super thick top loaders. i got to see if I have any left. There's a Jeff McNeil. The nice thing about it is you have that nice gold border on there to keep. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty much indestructible. But we'll get it all packaged up in cardboard, cardboard, cardboard. Let's see what else we can find. So we got a Jeff McNeil. There's a Jordan Alvarez. We'll get that sleeved up for you, Robert. Of course, I'm celebrating my 38th birthday tonight, watching a baseball card opening live stream on YouTube, a.k.a. adulting done right. That's pretty awesome. Happy birthday. You're one day before my birthday, a couple hours before my birthday. All right, Robert, here's your last stack. You got two hits, two relics. Happy belated. I see a framed card there. Maybe you have a framed mini auto. That would be pretty nice, Robert. Dirk says, happy birthday, Eric. I started singing happy birthday, but the neighbors insisted that I stop. So much for that idea. Good luck to all tonight. Dirk, thank you very much. I hope you guys... Well, check out Dirk's channel. He does a nice job over there. Lots of uh, retail hunts. So check his channel out, guys. Dirk, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. Daddy Dog has got the link right there. The newly minted member of the 1,000 subscriber club, Daddy Daughter. Thank you very much for dropping those links. Uh, Baseball in 5 says, do you have any $500 members? Yeah, I do. I have um, a few, actually. There's an Austin Nola autograph frame mini very nice one right there rookie that's aaron nola's older brother so nice card right there austin nola for robert um let's see um super bro says hey i am a padres and astros fan i hope you get an autograph tatis or verlander or maybe a josh bell triple play thank you for the happy birthday i hope we find one of those autos that'd be pretty nice skylar says well, i don't have a 500 hundred dollar patreon membership i have a 300 hundred dollar one where you get a a hobby box every month. Um, this month, I texted them all and said, hey, what do you guys want? You can pick from this, 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 and this. It's like Allen & Ginter, Stadium Club, Archives. Um, they had to pick, a, they could pick an old old wax box or an additional blaster box, and they get another blaster box and a fat pack and five packs and a, a baseball that I caught and um, 
ten. The the big one is if they're a if they're a heavy breaker and they like to buy into the breaks, they get ten percent off all of their purchases, which can really add up. That could be like for most of those guys, it's usually about a hundred dollars savings per month on average or so. All right, Robert, let's see what we can find right now. Your cabinet box. Hey, it's Mike Trout. I bet you this one sells for like twenty bucks on eBay. Honestly, those ones are uh, pretty pretty valuable. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I would pay that much for, it, but people love those ones. Robert, congratulations! Let's get your name on there. Get all of your Alan and Ginter packaged up. And so, for those of you that hate Alan and Ginter, you can breathe a sigh of relief because we're done with that for now. I've still got three boxes left that we'll cycle back to eventually. But all right, next up, how about we go with? Um, let's get to Bowman Chrome. Do another Bowman Chrome. It's only the second master of Bowman Chrome that we've pulled down off the shelf. All right, best of luck to you two guys. Gary's got the first mini, and Juan's got the second mini. We're looking for Byron Laura. That would be a nice one. Get this one over here for Gary, this one over here for Juan. All right, Gary, let's see what we can find for you. Instantly famous. Thank you very much for the kind words. I'm glad to have you here. Sure, there's no other packs hanging on inside that box. All right, let's get to ripping these, Gary. Spot number three of Bowman Chrome. And then after this, um, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go back to, we'll go back to one of the $300 boxes, either Immaculate or Triple Threads. Fat Italian says, I was told that the World Series ratings have been the worst of all time. Yeah, they've, uh, they have been. You're absolutely right about that. I read those stories as well. Not a lot of interest in the Dodgers and the uh, Rays. The Rays don't have much of a fan base, and the Dodgers have been there a few times the last couple years. A couple times the last few years, so maybe people are a little tired of seeing them. Uh, there's a nice Beau Bichette. Mark Dimmick with a $1.99 uh, or a $1.99 pound emoji. Thank you very much, man. Really appreciate that. And Daddy Dar says, how about a like spike? Thanks for the suggestion, Daddy Daughter. Nice Dustin May. 175 likes right now. Thanks, guys. Randy Arizarania, he's he was a guy that was a common about a month ago. Now he's definitely in my sleeve pile every single time. There's Mookie Betts out of 499. Luis Roberts says, I'm at home eating Raymond Noodles. Eric Miller is the autograph in that mini box. There's an Andrew Vaughn, number three overall pick, and Nolan Jones. So, Gary, thank you very much. Your mini box is in the books. Daddy Daughter's got the link to Mark Dimmick if you'd like to check him out. Who is up next? Um, it is Juan. Best of luck to you, Juan. And Juan says, hey, watch all of your times or watch all your, your videos all the time. Thank you very much for watching. And Keith says, I'd ra rather be watching you in the World Series. That's very, very kind words. I appreciate that. Yeah, I figured today would be a good day. There's no, um, there's no new release coming out anytime soon. I think the next release, re new release is Panini Contenders, but that's not until the 30th, which is next Friday. So we'll probably take Wednesday off again with no new release, and uh, we'll live stream on Thursday. It will be our next live stream. All right, Juan, let's see what we can find for you. Thursday, it will be, uh, yeah, Jack. Everything's gonna come in probably a big old flat rate box. There's. Jackson Coar purple. A nice one right there. Those aren't numbered. Still nice enough. Get that sleeved up. It's Cody Bellinger, Antonio Cabello. J-Rod. There's the Cunha. And a nice Royce Lewis out of $4.99. Tops update in two weeks is going to be insane. Yeah, it is. Daddy Daughter's got the link to Triple Play. Check out Triple Play, everybody. Drew Avens first Bowman is the autograph for you. One nice first Bowman auto updates due out in um, November 6th. There's Aaron Savali out of 250, Tristan McKenzie, and Tyler Stevenson. So, Juan, thank you very much. Hey, how about we do another Bowman Chrome box? Why not? Right? Let's do another one. All right, so next box is going to it's a where are we at Bowman Chrome? It's another split box, it's going to be for Dennis and also James. Bowman Chrome's kind of a quick break. I forget, what is there, like 33 cards? I can't remember. 30-some cards per box. So, Dennis, you have the left. James has the right. Let's do Dennis's first. 
How many cards in there does it say? Uh, 30 cards, it looks like. What new rookies will be an update? I don't, I don't think I've seen the list. I did hear they're going to have like a prospect card for each team. So you might see some of the big, uh, big prospect names in there, which would be pretty cool. Usually the checklist comes out a week or two in advance, so I wouldn't be surprised if it drops this week if it hasn't already. All right, best of luck to you, Dennis. Here we go, another Bowman Chrome box. Let's see what we can find in spot number five for you. Keybrook Ruiz on the back of that pack. Baseball in five, so he's got to go do some stuff. Well, thanks for hanging out here for the last 50 minutes. So good to have you. All right, Dennis, I see a purple. It's a Sam Huff for the Rangers. Another Sam Huff base card in there. Trey Harris. Hyunjin Ryu, Will Wilson. Autographs should be coming up soon. And there's a Nick Solak rookie card. Trevor says, am I the only one who thinks Bowman Sterling is underrated? Yeah, it's not a bad release at all. There's a nice Tim Anderson at a $4.99 autograph in every mini box. They were selling those at the card show today for like, I think, $70 or $75 per mini box. There's a Vaughn Grissom first Bowman. Nice looking card right there for the Atlanta Braves. How much is Triple Threads? It was $3.19 was my price per master box. $3.19. All right, so Laura says, you won't see any update as long as they end up in flippers' baskets. Yeah, that's. I'm not even going to try. I, I ended up buying cases of um, update, the, the retail stuff, the blaster boxes directly from the big boys that sell those stuff. They sell them in cases of 40. And, um, of course, they jack up the prices as well, but I don't think they're quite as much as flipper prices. I think it comes out to roughly maybe $30 a piece or 20 high 20s. I can't remember exactly what it was. Ike is in the house. What's up, Ike? All right, James, let's see what we can find for you right now in spot number six. I've got some stuff on this shelf, Ike. I got to um, get out to you soon. I'm trying to get $1,500 of stuff together. I think I've got about $700 worth of stuff on the box or on the uh, shelf in the box. All right, James, what can we find for you in your Bowman Chrome box? Ains says, for starting my collection, what box should I get? Well, are you looking for autographs? Are you looking for rookie cards? Um, basically, you should just watch some of the videos done on YouTube and see what kind of uh, release kind of draws you in. And then, you know, if it fits your budget, go ahead and grab one of those. I gotta do the new gallery if I can ever find it. Nico Horner, four ninety nine. Joe S says, "Can I pay you a hundred dollars to jump into the opening?" Well, you can pay me three dollars and join up on Patreon. You don't have to do a hundred unless you want um, the hundred dollar package sent to you. There's Austin Shenton, first Bowman. That's a nice one. Always like the first Bowman position player. Shane Bass, former Pirates, number one pick. So, James, thank you very much. All right, let's go ahead now and switch back to... Let me put these away. Let's go ahead and do a... How about we do another triple threads box? Love the high-end stuff. I've got a bunch of triple threads to do tonight. All right, here we go. Let's pull the next one down off the mountain of triple threads. Brandon, you're up. Spots number five and six. Kalen says, so we can have any pack we want if we sub. Well, it doesn't work that way. You still have to pay for it. Like, if you sign up on Patreon, it's $3 a month. These are $319 a box. <laughs> that would uh, that would make no sense at all if uh, I was able to do that. So here we go, Brandon. What can we find for you? I could sell them for $319, though, instead of $340, because I don't have to pay the 10% of eBay fees. That's the big benefit of Patreon, so... Pass those uh, eBay fee savings on to you. Here we go, Brandon. Best of luck. Can you show all the boxes? Well, I already showed them all at the beginning of the live stream, but here's what's left. If you're really curious, still a whole bunch. Tons and tons of boxes. Uh, Apollo, you can cancel Patreon at any time. Just make sure you cancel um, before the end of the month, as they charge you on the first of each month, there's a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I hope that you don't cancel, but um, you can just um, do that whenever. There's an out of 99, 
And what is this? They ripped us off, Brandon. There's only one hit in here. They did not give us an autograph. So, Brandon, that's happened now about four times with triple threads. And when that happens, I send you the UPC as well. Let me cut that out. Send Tops a copy of your receipt from PayPal from me that says 2020 Tops triple threads break. Take that UPC from the box that proves that uh, you've bought one of their products and uh, they will replace it for you. At least that's what people have told me has happened with them. So got the um, the master for you and I'll also give you the mini box. They better give you a nice big hit in here to make up for that because that's awful. That's literally happened several times now with triple threads. I feel like it's been it's been four times. So I remember down on the shelves, there's four of these UPCs that I had Heather put aside for people that were shorted an autograph. Oh, please don't happen again. Okay, they did give you your two autographs for two hits in this one. Fernando Tatis, Sutsuga's in there as well, out of 275. Wilson Contreras, out of 75, is the auto. And the relic, it's going to be a Buster Posey out of 36. 26 of 36. So, Brandon, I wish that... Um, I had some extra triple threads boxes that I could comp you, but um, I don't. Plus, they're pretty expensive. That's a pretty tough price to swallow for Tom's um, mistake. $159 mistake. All right, so Brandon is in the books. Let's do another triple threads box. That one left a bad taste in my mouth. All right, triple threads take two. Let's uh, split this one up between Luke and also Dennis and see if um, they can make it up to us here with a big hit. Let's grab the next one. Hopefully there's no missing card in this one. How much did I sell my triple thread boxes for? Well, I sent, I had to sell them for 319 per master box. A mess of things says this card community has gotten new kids interested in the hobby and now they're losing interest because they can never find any cards. Dang flippers, yeah. It's, um, it's, I agree with you. I'm hoping that, um, I keep hoping that it's going to die down, but I, I don't think that it's all just flippers either. I think there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of sneaky, invisible investors out there that I feel like just buy up all the boxes and just throw them on their shelves to sell down the road. Luke, let's see what we can find for you now. Like, they might just hoard all the boxes of, like, uh, I don't know, like, I don't know if people. Are, I don't know if people are buying Alan Ginter to hoard, but um, like Bowman Chrome, it just seems like even like blaster boxes from. I, I bought a couple boxes of 2017 today at the card show just because I want to do it for a throwback or a face off Friday. They're like thirty five dollars a box, and I was like, I don't want to pay that, but um, I can't really find them anywhere. There's Luis Robert, and I'm not going to be able to get them for that price on eBay. They're probably like $40 some dollars plus a little bit of extra. There's a Robel Garcia out of 10, 7 out of 10 auto for Luke, and your relic is Ozzy Albies, 25 of 27. A nice looking card right there for you, Luke. Let's check out Dennis's box. 357 says the Rays score. That's good news for me. And I, want, I picked the Rays to win in 7, so I've got to root for them. Yeah, that Luis Robert, very nice card in there. Let's try that again. All right, Dennis, spot number eight. Let's see what we can find for you. All right, so um, why is the, oh we got a booklet? We've got a booklet. If you ever see the uh, the relic on the back, it's not a mistake. We've pulled several booklets out of triple threads, and every time the relic has been on the back. So, Dennis, you've got a nice booklet coming up. Let's see who it's going to be. You have Ian Happ there on the front. and Wow! <laughs> they give you the autograph of Nicky Lopez. I wasn't expecting that. I thought they'd give you a base card back there. They give you Ian Happ out of 27, so... That's pretty awesome, and it's a DECA autograph booklet! Holy cow! A DECA autograph booklet! Look out, everybody! Fasten your seatbelts! This is the second time we pulled one of these. The first time was in the preview video for Tony D, and it was a DECA booklet of 10 autographs 
On the Los Angeles Dodgers, we had Hall of Famers from the Dodgers, major stars, and we had some of their best rookies in there like Dustin May and uh, Gavin Lux. And now we have another DECA relic booklet card. It's an autograph relic booklet card. Fasten your seatbelt. Here we go. Dennis, this is going to be the hit of the night. Maybe. We already had a Mike Trout worth $2,000, $1,600 to $200, $2,000 out of $15. let us see if we can do it again and break that. All right, so we have a... Game use memorabilia. Okay, so nothing crazy yet. It's just a bunch of uh, jerseys. Where's our... Where's our... Oh, there it is. Juan Soto. Deca Relic. That is a nice one right there. Juan Soto out of 10. So it's not a, a 10 autograph. It is 10 pieces of his jersey. So that, that's still pretty nice. I was hoping that we'd have 10 autos in there like the Dodgers. But that we'll take that one. Juan Soto, a great pull right there. I don't know. You might have a... Uh, what do you think this? I'm going to guess $600 on this one. Jack Townsend said, should I sell the trout? That's up to you, man. He's one of the best players of all time. Out of 10, Deca Relic. The, the word autograph on there threw me off. I, I saw deck, I saw auto, and I automatically went into my Dodger mode. That's a beautiful card right there. Very, very nice. Legit FN says that's a $1,000 card right there. Juan Soto, Dennis, if that wasn't a <laughs> enough, you got the uh, extra hits as well in there. Pretty crazy stuff right there for Denny. The Deca Relic autograph of Juan Soto, one of the uh, best stars in the game. We'll take that one. So Triple Threads delivers. Now I feel like um, we need to see if... Uh, Immaculate can answer that one. Immaculate is kind of like um, Panini's version of Triple Threads. Not really, but it's the high end, about the same price, $300 a box. Sly LA, how's it going? Thank you very much for stopping in. Jacob's up right now. Let's see what we can find in this bad boy. Uh, J-Roll, you can still get in. If you're a Patreon member, there's still plenty of spots available for everything except for Triple Threads. That's sold out. I, I just can't really seem to ever keep that in stock. I feel like we've broken triple threads, what, four times? Three times? Jacob, here we go. Another Hollis build says, love to see you stop by and check a video out, Eric. Another Hollis build. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check his channel out. Really appreciate the, the support, man. Lots of great stuff over there. I got to get over there and leave a comment for you. To prove that I was there. We got a blockchain on the back. How do you claim a box? You have to be a Patreon member and sign up. I always send invoices, but um, today at the end, if you'd like to buy into the break, you can just PayPal me directly. Um, looks like you might have eight cards here, Jacob. Let's see. We've got Ronald Bolanos leading things off out of 49. Nice looking card right there. Next card, it's going to be a nice hit. It's a Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis out of 49 Jumbo Relic. And we have a third Jumbo Relic. I thought there was only two, but I'll give you a bonus relic there. It is a Aristides Aquino out of 49. And now we get into the autographs. And our first auto, it's going to be from the Mets. It is a, or from the Yankees. Sorry, I saw New York and I saw the blue. It is a Michael King. Michael King, nice out of 25. And how about this one? Hall of Famer, the Big Hurt is next. Frank Thomas, one out of 25. Very, very nice. Like that one a lot. Frank Thomas, one out of 25. The Big Hurt. Logan Allen is up next. Nice Logan Allen out of 99. And our final card, actually there's a blockchain card down there too. Our next to last card, our penultimate card there. Styling says $700 card on the Soto. It's a nice Nick Solak out of 49. And the blockchain redemption is going to be for a Nico Horner rookie patch autograph card. Very, very cool stuff right there. Jacob, thank you very much. Congrats on your hits. All right. So not a bad box. Hall of Famer Frank Thomas in there. Let's go do a gold label or two. How about Mary? Let's pull the next box down off the gold label stack. Spot number five. 
Sandy says, I need to see that trout. I missed it. Yeah, it was, oh, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes ago or something like that. X says, no rush on the stuff. Well, yeah, I've just been pulling aside boxes here and there and putting some stuff. To, I don't really have too many singles. Like, um, a lot of the stuff is kind of packed away in my garage. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to give you a, a box of uh, this and that. Probably some of the stuff you see here on the screen. Carrie, send me a message directly through PayPal. My Patreon mailbox is just filled up. and um, Or not PayPal, Yahoo. All right, let's see what we can find for Mary. Spot number five. You'll have your autograph in this pack. It's the thick pack. How much is gold label? Julio, I charge $99 per box for gold label. Let's see what we can find. In this, Kyle Lewis, Class 1 rookie card. Juan Soto, Jacob deGrom, Keston Hira. Nico Horner, Class 3 rookie card. Luis Robert rookie. Nice one right there. We'll get that one sleeved up for you. Willie Mays. George Springer's out of 150. It's a blue parallel. Sunny Gray. A couple Sunny Gray. Gray's in there. There's Aaron Judge. And now it's time for what you've been waiting for, Mary. It's the autograph. Gold framed. It's going to be an athletic, I'm guessing. That is, uh, I would have said Jesus Lusardo, but there's a bat on the card. So I'm going to say Sheldon Noisy is my guess. Let's see if I'm right. The back card, there's a Robel Garcia. Front card is Ichiro. It is going to be a Sean Murphy. So I was wrong. It's in the same ballpark, at least. Sean Murphy is your gold-framed auto. How about we do another gold label? Let's see if we can hit another Mike Trout, which would be pretty awesome. James, you're up right now. Let's see what we can find for you. Let me go ahead and put Mary's stuff in a nice, safe place inside the 5,000-count box. How much is gold label? 99 bucks a box is the gold label price. Here we go, James. Dale, how's it going? You have my attention now. I don't see everything. It's um, it's tough to keep up with um, looking at everything on the screen and going on that I'm opening and the chat as it scrolls by. Is there a way to see your Patreon prices without buying a subscription first? Yeah, BRD. There's a whole page that you can see all the different tiers and how much they cost and what you get with each um Tier. Like, you could do the $3 tier, which is access to the breaks and the content that I post there. But no monthly package. And then from that, you go up. The, there's a $14 package, which gives you six old packs per month. There's like 1988 to 1992 packs. The most popular ones are the $26 tier, which is four new, four old packs. The $51 tier, you get a new blaster box every month, plus five new packs. Uh, Edmund says, do you ask for a shipping address? I kind of expect you to send it with your PayPal payment. Unless you're like, if you get something sent to you every month, um, then I just have your payment in, in your PayPal page or in your Patreon page. And I just ship it all together in like a flat rate box. There's a nice class three Nolan Ryan. Blake Snell, Sonny Gray, Brennan McKay, Garrett Cole, Fernando Tatis Jr., Walker Bueller. Don Mattingly, Tim Anderson is out of 150. There's Trevor Story and Tony Gwynn. J.D. Martinez. So now it's time, James, for the gold-framed auto. Let's see what we can do for you. We've got Trey Turner. It's a San Francisco giant. I'm going to say that's Mauricio Dubon. Alan says, what's still available and the price? Alan, check it out on Patreon. They're all listed there in the signups for this. The prices are still the same. You can check that out. Scroll down a couple postings. I'm wrong. It's Logan Webb, and he's batting there. So Logan Webb is the hit for James. It's not the huge hit that we wanted. We already had the – probably had, we had the case hit. I don't think we're going to be able to beat the Mike Trout autograph out of 15 gold-framed auto, but still, we'll try. All right, next up, let's go ahead and do a Bowman Chrome. This is a master for Ernesto. Spots number seven and eight. Best of luck to you. Nunzi says, happy early birthday, Eric, uh, to both of us. Hey, happy birthday. Yeah, my birthday is in a couple hours here. It's uh, 930, so two and a half hours. And then I'll be the big 4-0. How old are you going to be? 
I'm guessing you're around my age. A lot of the, a lot of the uh, folks on this channel are probably right around in my age range. I think my biggest demographic by far is 35 to 44. Folks that collected cards when they were um, kids. And now getting back into it again. All right, so Ernesto, let's see what we can find. Daddy Daughter's 45. 45 years young. Keith, thank you very much. 42, 44, 13, 18, 47, 22, as people are posting their ages. Joshua says, how are you not watching the World Series? That's easy, Joshua. I don't have cable, and I'm not at Heather's house to watch it right now, so... I'm doing this instead. I will go back and watch all the uh, highlights and top plays, though. There's Tony Gonsolin. That's what I've been doing. Key Brian Hayes. There's 1152-8741. You're Don Alvarez. Keith says, you pull the best cards. Thank you very much. I try my best, but it's a lot of it's just luck. 3945. There's Blake Rutherford out of 499. Jason Dominguez, Bowman Chrome, 6818. There's a nice Luis Robert. Zachary says he turned 29 yesterday. Happy belated birthday. Michael Harris, first Bowman is the auto in the first box. How much is it for a Chrome box? I think there were 219 for a Chrome box for Sixto Sanchez. All right, Ernesto, let's check out the other side and see what we can find in this one. Nothing left in there. Where do I get the cards? Well, I get them from all over. Sometimes eBay, sometimes from David Adams, sometimes from Steel City, sometimes from all over the place. I look around and basically whatever place I can find the best case price, that's what I go with. Do I have any Bowman HTA, Bowman Chrome HTA? No, I sold all out of those when I did the Bowman Chrome break. I had two cases of those, but they're gone, and I have not replenished those. All right, Ernesto, what can we find for you in your second? Joe says, I'm 49. Am I the oldest here? I don't think so. Not by a long shot. I think we had someone say they were 87 and 72. So we've got some youngins and some old veterans of the hobby. New Future Magazine says, good news. I just hit the 200 mark. Bad news. I'm in quarantine for two weeks. Could I get a few more eyes on my channel? New Future Magazine. Thank you very much. I hope that you will... Check out their channel and give them some support. Sorry that you're locked down there for a while, but uh, hopefully it goes by quickly. And I'm sure you'll be pumping out lots of videos in the meantime. Byron Laura. I'll make it go by a little faster. Is that Collins rookie card? Hey, Ripping for Ripkins is here. Ripping for Ripkins has a $1,000 sub giveaway with some crazy stuff in there, like Juan Soto autographs, Aristides Aquino autographs, some great stuff he's given away. Um, like PSA 10 rookies of uh, top, top tops fire, top rookies. What's he have here? He says, happy early birthday, Eric. 1,000 subscriber giveaway video posted today. So I came back to the guy that I stayed with to help me over the hump. Thanks for the continued content and gold label. Looks awesome as always. Ripping for Ripkins with the $20 super chat. Thank you very much. Like his stuff he's giving away is pretty crazy. There's like a PSA 10, Kyle Ripken Jr., 1984 Donruss in there. Or something like that, which is just, I don't know. The the, uh, the grand total of stuff that Ripping for Ripkins is giving away is pretty amazing. There's five different prizes, so you have a good shot at getting one of those. I hope you guys will check them out. Corey, thank you very much for the support. I really appreciate that, man. And uh, thank you for the birthday wishes. So get on over to Ripping for Ripkins right now while I try to figure out what I'm opening next. All right, let's go ahead and do, um, how about we do, we had really, really good luck with our Chrome Jumbo box. Let's do another one of those. The first one we opened, we had a $1,000 Randy Arizarena, uh Gold Wave Auto out of 50. Thank you, Tron. I appreciate that. Fat Italian just added Ripping for Ripkins to his subscription list. Thank you very much. BRD says, is $3.30 a good price to pay for a full box of triple threads? Well, I sold them for $3.19. The cheapest I saw today at the Chantilly show in Washington, D.C. was $3.25. Uh, that was still City Collectibles had them for $3.25. So they keep going up every day. So you might as well, I don't know. That's probably a fair price now, I would imagine. All right, so here we go. Wayne, best of luck to you. Wayne's got two. Yeah, there was a show in Chantilly today, and it was a, kind of like a ghost town. Tustin said he paid two fifty when these first came out. He could probably get them around two fifty from the uh, card store that 
sold them for the pre-order price. The way it works, I guess, with card stores is uh, there's like a pre-order price if you order like far in advance, many months in advance, and there's a reorder price that comes out uh, just a couple days before the release. So sometimes, depending on the card store, sometimes you can find boxes for pretty cheap. Jackson, we have the same birthday. My birthday's tomorrow as well. All right, Wayne, five autographs coming your way. Let's see if we can put you in the same boat as Tim with a big-time hit. Jack says, what's the best hit tonight? Well, I have to say that's your card, Jack. We pulled a $1,600 Mike Trout gold-framed autograph out of 15 in gold label. Really amazing hit right there. There's not that one. I'm talking about the uh, gold label. So it's a Jesus Tinoco is the first one. When does update come out? It's supposed to come out on November the 6th, which is not this Friday, but the Friday after. Juan Soto, Trent Grisham. Yeah, that was a nice one for sure. We've got an Austin Nola purple. That one's numbered out of 299. It's Pete Alonso. There's the Beau Bichette. We'll get that one sleeved up. Nice Beau Bichette right there. Yu Chang. I picked up his first Bowman card today at the card show down in Chantilly for 10 cents. So I was like, yeah, 10 cents. Yu Chang. Might as well grab that one. Never know. I think he might be okay. All right. Let's check out the bottom of this one. There's Mike Trout. How long has this been going on? I started at 8.20 p.m. Eastern time. So, um, 76 minutes, Jalen Davis is our next hit. So, there's two autos in the books. Jordan Alvarez, still sleeving him. Carlos Santana, I picked out his rookie card today at the card show for 10 cents, then I put it back because, um, I don't know, it, it was a big haul, the Dallas Expo Center, and um, we got there at 10 a.m. We only bought half-day passes, so we had to leave by 12.30. So, um, I was like, yeah, I can't – I. I can't just spend all my time here looking through 10 cent box. So just Dustin May. Get that one sleeved up. Long night ahead, huh? Says Lugo. I don't know. We'll see. All right, Wayne, next side of the box. Let's see what we can find for you in spot number 3 4. Since I had the signups for this, since these are kind of expensive boxes, we did them in half spots. If you wanted the full box, you could buy two spots. Good luck to you, Wayne. Chris says his birthday is November 7th. He'll be 46. Happy early birthday. How much is the box? Uh, Chrome boxes after everything's said and done, usually around 400. So my uh, my break-even point was 419. All right, so there's Bobby Bradley. There's a nice one. Dylan Cease. Dylan Cease freshman flash autograph. I'm on the Dylan Cease bandwagon. Picked up a bunch of his rookie cards today out of the this is supposed to be a 10 cent box, but he's like, those are 20 cents each since that's, you know, that's his rookie. So I was like, eh, whatever. I'll take them. Jose Barrios, Mike Trout, 85 style. It'd be nice to find a second Mike Trout autograph. Here comes a Kyle Lewis rookie card. Nice one right there. Autograph, it's Jake Fraley. Not the biggest name out there. There's a nice Tatis. Uh, Colin says, Alec Baum, Cronenworth, and Sixto Sanchez, are they the big rookies? I don't. I haven't seen the list yet. Like We might also have Christian Pache and Joey Barton there and Key Brian Hayes and a bunch of guys. Uh, there's a nice Luis Robert, freshman flash. I'll just have to wait until we see the uh, checklist. But, yeah, those guys are possibilities. I don't know if we'll see them or not. We might not see any of them until 2021. There's a nice Ronald Acuna Jr. green. Numbered out of 99. Very nice looking card right there for you, Wayne. How about a Luis Robert rookie card to go with the Kyle Lewis 85? I was seeing this card today for about $35 at the card show. $35 or so. Um, what else can we find in there? It's an autograph of Tyler Alexander. Uh, I think that's your fifth and final autograph. Nice get. Uh, no, no, I wish it was Gavin Lux. It's Edwin Rios. All right, so that's Wayne's. For, let's do Wayne's both of his boxes. How much does a box cost on Patreon, Apollo Clan? It's um, it all depends on what box you're talking about. They're all different. Um, Chrome was uh, tops Chrome for a jumbo box that was four, um, four nineteen. Alan, you can just send it directly to me. It should have my PayPal email address. Just send it directly because I mean you're a Patreon member. You've bought from me before. Just send it right on over. I, 
typing up the invoices takes some time and I don't really have that time once the stream starts, unfortunately. But send it on over and uh, I'll add you in to the end there. You said you had, uh, what did you say? Gold Label and Chronicles. Yeah, I have those available. So here we go. Let's do another box now. Let's do Wayne's second box. Let's not make him wait any longer. Best of luck to you, Wayne. Let's see what we can find in your next box. Five more autographs coming your way. Lions card says that he had some trouble on YouTube. Well, huh, you have copyright problems. Do you have music in the background? If you have music in the background, you might have that issue. Do you have like a TV in the background? Did you were you live streaming like the MLB game? There's certain things you just can't do. I don't know. Maybe just send him a, an email and see what's up. All right, Wayne, five and six. How much is a box of gold label? They are 99 bucks a piece. Here we go, Wayne. Let's see what we can find in box number two for you. Where do you find the, price, uh, the prices on Patreon? Well, go to the content page. There's a nice Jesus Lusardo. And you'll see a bunch of different postings there. I think the most recent one I did was, um, I can't, it might have been the uh, the uh, Series 2 hanger boxes for $19 a piece. If you scroll down and find the sign-ups for this break, it might be the fourth one down. That's where you'll find the prices. There's Jesus Lusardo. Just scroll on down that uh, the posts page where I post, uh, it's like, blo like a blog, like a blog post. Christian Yelich, Dylan Cease, rookie card. Do I have rope packs in my sleep? Um, I don't know. I don't tend to dream that much. Maybe it's because I'm typically not waking up that much during the night. So there's a nice Randy Arizarania rookie card. Let's get that one straight in the sleeve. And Kyle Garlic autograph. Daddy Daughter says the link I posted takes you straight to the prices. Daddy Daughter on the ball. So if you wanted to, uh, if you're a Patreon member, you wanted to add on to the end, he's got you to the sign up page right there. Uh, there's a Rysel Iglesias out of 99 green, 68 of 99. Nice one right there. The Daddy Daughter, by the way, once again, just crossed the 1,000 subscriber threshold right around the beginning of this stream. So congratulations to him. There's Aaron Savali, rookie card. Nice number four starter. When am I going to do another 2011 Tops update break? Well, I looked on eBay at boxes of those, and um, I think they're $13,000 a box now, which is pretty crazy. I th uh, when I did it, it was $10,000 a box. And uh, so, I mean, we could do it again. Instead of getting four cards each, you'd only get three, though, so the odds of finding a trout would be worse. Something like that. I have to figure out how the math works out. Maybe 3.5 cards. I don't know. For 100 bucks. All right, Wayne. Second box, second stack. Let's see what we could find in here. BRD says, Do I think the Bryce Harper cards will make a comeback? Well, I hope so. They might if he has a big season. Paulo Clan says, How much is a mini box of gold label? A box of uh gold label is $99 there's Travis Demerit autograph imagine paying $13,000 for the box and not getting a Mike Trout that'd be awful um if you didn't get a Mike Trout you might be walking away with maybe if you're lucky like $200 worth of cards with the uh, you know the Altuve's and the Rizzo's and the Gold Schmitz there's a Kyle hey Kyle Lewis autograph <laughs> almost took me by surprise right there that's a nice one right there for you Wayne Kyle Lewis autograph you can PayPal me. Well, Seafool, if you've been into my breaks before, you can just PayPal me directly. Um, there's no more signups on Patreon. It's closed. But I will add your spots on at the end of the break. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just log into my PayPal. I know that the last person that paid me was um, – I have their name written down, so I'll just scroll down to them and then just kind of uh, go up from there. There's a nice Boba Shett. Let's see what else we got in Wayne's stack of Bowman Chrome, Ramon Lariano, Austin Meadows, Prism Refractor, Josh Hader, rookie card of Logan Webb. Probably haven't seen the last of the Logan Webb autographs. There's a nice Joey Votto negative card. Raphael Devers. We've pulled, what, one or two 
Logan Webb's tonight. So I bet you we'll have a Mauricio Dubon auto before the night is through as well. I bet you. Jose Urquidy. There's a Michael Bias. See, fool, thank you very much for signing up. Um, let's get, if you want to participate in the break, we'll get you my PayPal email address. You can just send it directly. Just I would ask, since you're new, to make sure you pay me goods and services so I get your address. And um, also include in the notes section which box or boxes you're paying for. All right, so Wayne, you are in the books. Thank you very much. And uh, Alan K. will get you in there. So we'll get you in there at the end after all of the um, prepaid spots are done. All right, next up, Wayne, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and move ahead. Let's go back to, how about we do, let's do a gold label again. I got a bunch of gold labels. So John's up right now, spot number seven. Trinity says, I feel weird. I am the only girl in here. I bet you not, Trinity. Out of my subscribers, there are about 5% of my subscribers are female. So, <laughs> could do the math there. There's maybe several more than just you. Make If you're a female watcher right now, make Trinity feel like she's not alone. <laughs> but we're just glad to have you here. Thank you very much. John, let's see what we can find for you in spot number seven. And we'll also check out that gold label card for you as well. Laura's here. Sydney's watching as well, so you're not alone. Lap Dog is here. There's at least four. <laughs> All right, there's Alex Bregman, Joey Gallo, Juan Soto, J Bob and Sons says, Howdy, Jazz family. Just wanted to give a big congrats to Daddy Daughter Card Breaks for hitting the 1,000 subscriber marker. J Bob and Sons, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. And check this one out. Luis Robert out of 75 gold label. What's that one go for? Um, a couple hundred bucks maybe, I'm guessing, on this one. It's a class one red out of 75? I feel like his like a regular Topps card out of 75 would be worth at least several hundred dollars. Some people would even sell, sell them for around a thousand or two thousand dollars for like the Independence Day ones. I don't know if gold label carries the same clout as the base rookie card, but Stalin says that's a $200 card right there. So an awesome one for you, John. 200 bucks. So, yeah, thank you very much, J-Bob. Really appreciate that. You got another one as well. Like that one. And let's – maybe you'll get a Luis Robert gold frame card in there. Gavin Lux will get that one sleeved up. Here we go. All right, so in spot number seven, we have Joey Gallo. You have an Astro in there. It is going to be Jose Urquidy. Jose Urquidy is the hit for John. So, John, not the biggest name there, but guess what? You got a $200 Luis Robert Red Parallel Rookie card in there, which is pretty nice. Stalling says uh, one of them is selling for 200 bucks right now on eBay, so we'll take that. Buck Slayer says, how does Patreon work? Well... I'll explain it right after I get John's cards put away. Patreon is a subscription site. Let's do another gold label for Gerardo. It's a subscription site. It's $3 per month, and uh, it gives you access to all of our breaks there. And I also do some exclusive content there. I do some videos that you can't see anywhere but on Patreon. I just post them directly to the Patreon page. And it lets you participate in all, basically all of our videos. Where's our... What? Well, Gerardo, I got... Bet, wait, maybe this is it. It feels like you don't have a gold frame card in here, man. None of these packs are heavy. This felt a little thicker. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe you have a redemption? I don't know. Stay tuned. Something's up with this, I think. Unless my fingers are just tired and um, I'm screwing it up. We'll see. Cindy watch, likes watching the Universal Treasures ones. Yeah, those are um, those are pretty crazy boxes. They're like four or five hundred dollars a piece, I think. Though, yeah, oh, yes, indeed, it is going to be a redemption of Mister Aaron Hicks. So that's where your gold framed card went to. Gavin Lux, get that bad boy sleeved up. Well, there's another pack that I thought felt a little thick. So we'll see what's in there. It might be, I don't know. I can't remember, is there, is there relics in this or not? Let's find out right now for Gerardo. Maybe, maybe not. 
Yep, you do have a relic in there. It's going to be a case hit card of Legends Reggie Jackson. So to kind of sweeten you up a little bit there, they give you a Reggie Jackson Legends game used relic. That's a nice one right there. Gerardo, congratulations on that one. Case hit. Very, very nice. Uh, Gigi says, how do I give you my address for Patreon? Well, if you sign up, for a monthly package, you just, when you check out, you opt into that. Some people forget to do that. Uh, make sure you opt into the monthly package. If you're a $3 member, then you don't need to provide me with your address. But if you buy into a break, you can just send it in the notes section and pay goods and services. And then I'll have it through PayPal. That's how a lot of the $3 folks get it. Very nice one right there. Let's switch gears away from Gold Label for a little while. How about we go and do... Um, Let's do Bowman Chrome again. Let's see what we can find here for Jacob and Brian. Then maybe we'll do triple threads after this again. Jacob, you get the left box, and Brian gets the right. Let's see what we can do for you guys. You're up first, Jacob. Inside, there's your, what, six packs, I think? What are my thoughts on Bruce Star Gratterall? Man, he's uh, I think he's gonna he's got future clothes written all over him with that easy 101 mile an hour fastball. Might be the heir apparent to Kenley Jansen. I don't know how many years Kenley has left in that closer spot. Got walked off last night. Not really his fault, I guess. Had a, had some bad luck there with um Kiermaier's hit was almost caught. It literally missed Kike Hernandez's glove by literally an inch, maybe even less. And then had that bad luck on the uh, hit up the middle to Chris Taylor with all the airs. How much does a gold label cost on Patreon? Apollo, it's $99. I remember Joel Zumaya. Yeah, he threw like 100 miles an hour, and he just disappeared off the face of the earth. Uh, what, another guy was like Bruce Rondon. What's with the Tigers and these former flamethrowers? There's Yoshi Sutsugu out of 250. Remember Bruce Rondon was supposed to be really good? You never know what's going to happen. Ryan Pepio out of 99. First Bowman Auto. Nice one right there. Haven't heard of him yet, but hope I pronounced it right. It's Pepio, maybe. So, Jacob, thank you very much. Let's get to our next one here, which is going to be for... Brian. What do I think about Alec Baum? I think he looks like he's going to be pretty good. Stonebreak says, what goes through your mind when opening hours and hours worth of cards? I would love to. <laughs> well, um, actually, it goes by fast for me, actually, most of the time, because there's a... I mean, I'm just sitting here talking to you guys for a few hours. Lapdog says, where was the Saturday showdown last night? Um, I didn't do a Saturday showdown last night. It was my birthday weekend, so I was spending that time with Heather, and there was no new releases, so I just figured, you know what? We'll just skip the Saturday showdown this week. Sometimes I do that. Occasionally, I'll skip over the face-off Fridays. All right, so here we go, Brian. What can we find for you? There's Andrew Vaughn. There's... Greg Diekman, Glaber Torres, uh, Bryce Turang, Jesus Lusardo, rookie card. There's Eustiel Diaz out of 250. Jackson Rutledge, autograph incoming. It's Ramfer Salinas, first Bowman. Nice one right there. Ramfer Salinas. I think our next face off Friday night is Bobby Witt Jr. and Francisco Alvarez. I think our next one is going to probably end up being with a Bowman Crow Mega Box for next Face Off Friday. Brian, thank you very much. All right, I said triple threads after this. So let's do a triple threads for you and see what we can find. Who's my next triple threads contestant? It's going to be Zach. Good luck, Zach. We've got the whole master box. Let's see if we can find you something nice in here. Two mini boxes. Hopefully they didn't short us an autograph. All rise. Very, very good. Thank you very much for asking. Nothing. Why don't I still check those? I don't know. Just force the habit. All right. We've got Jordan Alvarez on the back. 
<laughs> Jack C says, hey, remember going to that auction where everyone was overbidding on boxes full of 90s wax? Yeah, like $15 a box. That was like two years ago, too. Your Don Alvarez out of $2.99. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. out of $2.75. I ended up picking up like 40 boxes of junk wax today at the card show. First hit's going to be a Gavin Lux out of 18. 12 of 18. Nice one right there for you, Zach. Braden, we're jumping all around. It's Right now it's triple threads. And we have a Brandon Lau out of 10. 8 of 10. Nice one right there. Like that one. Brandon Lau. His cards might go up a bit, especially if the... Uh, Rays win the World Series, and he has himself a big series. Looks like uh, he's been doing pretty well through the first four games. He was in a big slump before that. All right, Zach, here we go. Another Hollis build. Thank you very much. We've got Nico Horner, Cal Ripken Jr., Max Scherzer, George Springer's out of 299, Tatis out of 275. Here's the hits. The first hit, it's going to be a uh, Smani Grandal out of Two or out of 99, 29 of 99. And the relic is a Ken Griffey Jr. Legend relic. That's a nice one right there. Zach, congratulations. That's our second time pulling the Griffey. We pulled this one actually out of uh, one of our preview boxes of Triple Threads. I think that's a beautiful card right there. Ken Griffey Jr. Legend game used relic. Zach, congratulations on that one. Very, very nice. The kid, Ken Griffey Jr., I don't know what that's worth. Uh, you think that one reaches 100 bucks? The Griffey Relic? It might. Nice looking card. I never bothered to look up the, the first one. All right, so we're jumping all around. Let's go ahead and do a Chronicles one now. There's only six packs in Chronicles. Steve's up right now. Best of luck to you, Steve. There's four hits in every box of Chronicles. Three autographs and one Relic. Dave Penn is here. He says, hey, Eric, hope you had a great birthday weekend. My wife's birthday was yesterday. We just got back from Ido Hibachi. Let's get some more likes. Dave, thank you very much, and happy birthday to your wife. Really appreciate that. We'll be, um, we'll be doing a video soon with um, Mr. Dave Penn's pen packs, except he's branching out a bit. And he's starting up a subscription box called the Pen Box. That's out of 25. Greg Allen. Nice one right there. Aristides Aquino. Luis Robert rookie card. Bo Bichette mosaic rookie card. Another Luis Robert rookie card. Nice Titan one. What's the next release? It's Julio. It's going to be Panini Contenders. Comes out on Friday. Bryce Harper. I have, um, I have five cases of that coming in, I think. Nico Horner. So I've got a bunch of it. Jalen Davis and a Trent Grisham is going to be your Origins autograph. Nice card right there. Trent Grisham's. How many World Series foul balls have I caught? Zero. I think the most I ever got in a World Series game was six, and that was a game four of the 2012 World Series. Steve, you're up now. What can we find? Dave says, my local card shop is selling these Chronicles for $50 a pack. That's pretty pricey. Very, very pricey indeed. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. game use relic. Nice one right there. Christian Yelich. I, I don't know if I'd I don't know if I'd go for buying loose packs of Chronicles. I feel like um you risk getting the cold packs. There's Luis Robert, rookie card. And here comes the hit. It's gonna be after the Jordan Alvarez. It's a Brian Abreu Origins autograph. He always says one of the um, worst signatures around. Yeah, I feel like uh, Chronicles should be uh, around $30 a pack, somewhere in there, 25 to 30 around there. Next up, we have Steven's fifth pack. Let's see what we can find for you. Ronald Acuna Jr. out of 199 No, No World Series for me this year. I was thinking about going down there this weekend, but uh, the prices were kind of high. I was hoping the prices were going to fall a bit. They were hovering around $500 a ticket for the longest time. I was like, yeah, I don't want to go down there. Then I'm going to have to come back here in quarantine for 14 days, and um, I'm just going to skip it. There's a nice Ronald Acuna Jr. That one's numbered out of 199. Matthew says, who do I have in the World Series? I picked the Rays to win at the beginning of the playoffs in seven games over the Dodgers. So I literally had the World Series predicted correctly. I'm just hoping I have the seven games and the correct winner. That would be pretty... Pretty good, I, I would imagine. Pretty good pick. I should have probably filled out that um, guess the uh, 
you know, the bracket, you guess all the teams and you win like, I don't know, a million bucks that MLB had. I didn't do that, but I should have. There's Dylan Cease rookie card. If you, I had a really good pick la like last season. I think I almost got all the picks as well for the playoffs. So I'm having two good back-to-back -back years. There's an Aaron Judge out of 99. And Luis Robert Crusade. So, Steven, thank you very much. Appreciate that. All right, he's in the books. Who's up next after Steven? Let's go ahead and do a... Let's do another Bowman Chrome. Steve-O's got the entire box. Still have lots of triple threads left to go through. It looks like... Um, ooh, maybe like nine boxes left of triple threads. Start to turn our focus towards them in a little bit. All right, Steve. What can we find for you? on this wonderful October 25th evening. Kind of a crappy weekend here. Lots of uh, rain and chilly weather up here in the Northeast. Hey, Heather says back again, still working on your cake. Heather, I can't wait to, to try that cake. Um, <laughs> I might not even eat anything tomorrow because I just want to have plenty of room for that. I'm definitely going to fill up on that, I can tell you that. Best cook ever. Heather made nachos tonight, and man, were they good. I don't know how you whipped those nachos up in no time at all. Heather has salad planned for dinner. That's great. That'll leave plenty of room, and your salad is literally better than any restaurant salad I've ever had. There's Randy Arizarani, a rookie card. I'm glad to see you're still tuning in there, Heather. Thank you very much. I will uh I'll I'll FaceTime you after our live stream here. Dave says, can't believe I found a 2020 Tops Gallery Box at Walmart for $80. It has two autos per box. It will be a nice addition to the pen box. Dave, you found one of the monster boxes. Hopefully you use one of those five dollar off coupons if you had any. Um, if you need some, I've got a bunch of them. I actually started buying them on eBay. You could buy like, uh, I don't know, like 10 lot like a lot of 10 five dollar off coupons for a couple bucks i was like yeah i'll just buy a bunch of gallery boxes use these coupons but no no they're just gonna sit there dustin may rookie card so if you need any of those i have those there's a justin dunn out of 499 that's the autograph in the first box and what else can we find in here steve Spot number 12. Yeah, Dave, um, you should use those coupons, man. They um, they definitely come in handy. If you can ever find anything retail. I've almost given up. It's, it's so tough. You'll have to let me know what Walmart you... If you ever have any success at Walmart, let me know, and I'll run out and um, see if I can spend $100 for the $100 Walmart video. I haven't been able to do one of those in a long time. Whoops, dropped Steve's pack. There we go. No, if you're a Patreon member, you, we can add you to the end of this break. If you missed the initial sign-ups, we'll have some boxes left over. All right, Steve, what do we have for you? There's a purple Naomi Marte. That's a nice one. Yeah, Sandy, that was absolutely a crazy, crazy one. Oh, Ir Irwin's always picked over. I feel like Irwin's one of the worst spots to go for cards. There's The target is awful there for cards. They have like a four-inch section for cards with nothing ever there. We've got a gold DL Hall out of 50. Nice one right there. Willie Calhoun. Ethan Lindau, first Bowman. That's the next hit. Ronald Acuna Jr. Sheldon Noisy, rookie card. And Brett Beatty. So, Steve, thank you very much. Grant says, open immaculate. Well, asking you shall receive. Let's do it. Steve, thank you very much. Immaculate coming right at you. Jeffrey's up right now in spot number three. Wendy says, I didn't know people still collected baseball cards. Wendy, it's um the hobby's taken off again. It's it's not quite what it was in the 90s where you could buy packs at gas stations, bookstores, everywhere. But um yeah, we we can't find cards anymore. They sell them in a few locations, Target, Walmart, places like that, Walgreens, but um big lots can never find them anymore. Jeffrey, here we go. Immaculate soft. Let's see what we can find for you. $300 box right here. Get this tin out of the way. 
I'll just my garbage cans overflowing. I'll deal with that after the break. Slice open the security tape. All right, Jeffrey, let's see what we can find for you in Immaculate. You have Luis Ar Arise on the top. Nothing sticking at the bottom. So, Luis Arise, nice one right there. Triple Relic out of 49. And then we have a Legends Double Relic, Leo DeRocher. Former manager of the Brooklyn Dodgers. Wasn't he Jackie Robinson's first manager? That's a nice one right there. Check out the back. He spent 17 big league seasons as a player, but his expertise as a manager is what earned him a spot in Cooperstown. Very, very nice one right there. Leo DeRocher, uh, Jackie Robinson's manager. Nice card right there. That is some old relics on that. Our next one, it's going to be an autograph. Of Willie Castro, 48 out of 49 for Jeffrey. Nice one right there. And then we have, oh, this is a nice one. It is a Joey Bart. A triple relic and an autograph out of five. Nice looking card right there. Joey Bart is going to be quite the player, I think. He's going to be taken over for Buster Posey behind the dish. Posey, of course, will be playing a lot of first base. Nice one right there, Joey Bart. He's one going to be one of the hot rookies in 2021. Next card up. That one's going to be a debut moment. Sean Murphy autograph. I think those are socks, Tyler. Nice, nice one right there. And the last one from the Texas Rangers is Brock Burke. The I Black Auto, 25 out of 25. Jeffrey, thank you very much. Next up, where do I go next? Well, how about we do an Allen and Ginter See what we can find for lease in spot number 25. Spin that box right round. This is only the second Allen and Ginter box we've done so far. Best of luck to you, Lisa. We had an autograph in our first Allen and Ginter box. It was a framed mini of Austin Nola. Doomsday says, yes, Allen and Ginter. Yep, yeah, it's time to do another box of A and G. Let's see what we can find in here. Here we go. We'll Sly L.A. Foxtrot loves Alan and Ginter. Schultz says, Jabs, do you know why Topps even makes Alan and Ginter? It's so out there. Well, it's, Alan and Ginter does have a nice fan base. People buy it. Just think, when you go to Target and Walmart, do you ever see Alan and Ginter on the shelves? I know I don't, so someone's buying it. No, I do not, I do not accept Venmo, unfortunately. I, I don't have Venmo. It's definitely weird. It's out there with all the, the weirdo stuff today. Another Hollis build says the hunt in Allen and Ginter is real. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. You can go for those rip cards. All right, so there's going to be three hits in this box. There's the first one. It's a Josh James game-used relic from the Houston Astros. When's update due out, says Ben. Update's supposed to come out. Oops, Stan the Man Musial slipping out of there. Um, Stan the, not Stan the Man comes out. Update comes out November 6th. November the 6th. Chip Gaines found his auto out of this product. All right, so first stack done for Lisa, a.k.a. Ron. No autograph in that one. Let's see what we can find in spot number two, or stack number two, I should say. Lots of weirdo cards. Who's going to be in next year's Hall of Fame? Well, Kurt Schilling is going to get in, I think. You can bank on that. Larry Walker and Derek Jeter had their induction ceremony postponed to next year, so they'll be going in with Schilling, I think. And uh, beyond Schilling, who else is going to get in there, do you think? I'm trying to think if there's any newcomers to the ballot that are going to get in. Schilling's dangerously close. I think that Omar Vizquel may get a little closer we'll see there's clayton kershaw aquino and gregory polanco from mcgriff should get in but he's i don't think he's still on the ballot to tell you the truth gregory polanco we still have lots of triple threads left actually so two relics maybe the third hit will be an autograph three hits i uh, gary sheffield's not going to get in yet he's at about 35 percent of the vote i think somewhere down there he might 
keep picking up some ground, but you need 75% of the vote to get in. I think Kurt Schilling had about 70% of the vote, and I think he's going to get in there. Matt Feiss. Jordan Alvarez. Don Mattingly should get in, but he's not on the ballot. He would have to, unless he's put on the um, Veterans Committee ballot. I don't think he's getting in. Same thing with Dale Murphy. Shout out to you, Dylan. I don't think Bonds or Clemens are going to get in. Maybe their best chance is going to be in their 10th year, their final year of eligibility. I think um, their next year, is it their 8th year on the ballot next year? Something like that. They've kind of been uh, they've been picking up a little bit of support, but not much. I think they're right around like low 60%, needing 75. Their best bet is a lot of these older riders retire and don't vote anymore. And then the younger crowd will... I feel like the younger riders and the younger folks support Clemens and Bonds more and would, uh, would probably put them in. All right, let's check out this bottom stack. There's going to be... I think there's a framed relic in here. Let's check it out right now. All right, so we have... Andrew Elton Simmons there, Nico Horner, Bo Bichette, Kyle Lewis. Are there triple threads? There's left, yeah, there's left to open, but there's none more that I can sell you, or no more I can sell you. I'm sold out. We have a Mike Talkman autograph. So it is a framed mini. Grant, shout out to you. Nice Mike Talkman there from the Yankees. Um, let's see what else we've got in here. Eric Hosmer. Got a Gavin Lux mini rookie card. Do I have any left to sell? I have plenty of Chronicles left. I have plenty of Bowman Chrome left. I have plenty of Immaculate left. I have plenty of Allen and Ginter left. The only thing I don't have anything left of is uh, Triple Threads. Let's see what else we've got in here. Your Don Alvarez is the last one. Dylan, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. Let's check out Lisa and Ron's box topper. It's a Bregman. How much are Chronicles? $149 per hobby box. All right, so let me get your name on these. Next up, let's do triple threads again. How much is Alan and Ginter? I think it was $124 for a box of Alan and Ginter. Back to triple threads. Next up, this is going to be a split between Love and Jeffrey. You're up next. Best of luck to you. Let me get Lisa and Ron's cards put away. like to be organized here with these cards so there's not stacks of cards everywhere. All right, here we go. Triple threads, I said, right? So let's go see what we can find in here. I already had a DECA booklet, Juan Soto DECA Relic autograph booklet, which was pretty great. Love and Jeffrey. Love's up first. All right, so Bowman Crumb's 219 for a full master box. Raphael Devers is on the back. Ben, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate that. There's Reese Hoskins. We've got Devers out of 199 and Robin Yount out of 299. Your hits are going to be a Lord Ace Guriel Jr. out of 18. Nice one right there. The autograph is going to be Steven Strasburg. Nice one right there. Cindy says, this is a nice mixer. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Steven Strasburg, October Whiffs. Very, very nice one. Lion Cards Game Day says, I can't believe we share the same birthday. Yeah, October 26th, my birthday, our, or our birthday is going to be less than two hours away. I'll be hitting the big 4-0. Love, thank you very much. Nice Strasburg right there. Let's check out Jeffrey's side of the box and see what's in there. Best of luck to you, Jeffrey. Mario says, why are there no cards at Target? Because people buy them. They're waiting for the cards to arrive. And they buy them before they really ever even hit the shelves. Random Card Rips with Ryan says, happy birthday, Eric. Thanks for making videos that I look forward to watching every day. Keep up the great work. Random Card Rips, thank you very much for the kind words. And the birthday wishes. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Random Card Rips' channel. Daddy Daughter's got the link right there. 
Then we have uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. autograph relic out of 75 for Jeffrey. That's a big hit right there. Congratulations, man. That's going to be worth a couple hundred bucks. Fernando Tatis Jr. Very nice card right there. If you're wondering who your relic is, wow, it's a big poppy. David Ortiz, what a nice uh, run there uh, of hits for Jeffrey. Big poppy out of 36, future Hall of Famer. Even though he was on the Mitchell Report, I think he gets in still. And Fernando Tatis Jr., a very, very nice hit. Shift for nothing is what it says on there. David Ortiz could beat the shift. So, Jeffrey, a nice hit. Fernando Tatis Jr. autograph out of 75. Let's do another Triple Threads box. That was pretty good. Let's see if we can keep it going. Who's up next for Triple Threads? It's going to be Juan Rodriguez. And John McDonald splitting up the next box of triple threads. Let's see what we can find for you two guys. Spot number 13, Lockie number 13 and 14. There's 13. Here's 14. $200 says BRD on the Tatis. Nice card right there. All right, Juan. Let's see what we can find for you. Ben says that David Ortiz is his PC guy. So... Bet you're salivating over that card right now. Okay, so we've got Mike Piaz is the first one. Jackson, thank you very much. There's Buster Posey, Hannes Wagner. We've got a Lou Gehrig out of 299 and Ken Griffey Jr. out of 275. The hits are going to be a Kyle Tucker out of 25. That's a nice one. He really came on this season. His rookie card's gone up in value. Nice autograph relic right there. Sly LA Foxtrot's tempted to do an. Allen and Ginter box, and then we have back on track Jorge Soler out of 27 for Juan. So, Juan, thank you very much. TRX Thunder Kid, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. Appreciate that. John, here's spot number 14. Let's see what we can find for you. We have a cards. Thank you so much. Ronald Acuna Jr., Nolan Ryan, and Yadier Molina. What time zone am I in? I'm in the Eastern time zone. There's a Frankie Lindor out of 75. Bueller's out of 299. That's uh, right. A Sly LA Foxtrot. You get all the base cards and everything. There's Clayton Kershaw out of 18. Noah says, happy 27th birthday. I wish. I'm the big 4-0. And there we go. There's a big hit. Jim Tomey, extra homers out of nine. Oh, gee, thank you very much. That's a nice one. Hall of Famer, Jim Tomey out of nine. Love that card. John, congratulations on the great hit. Very, very nice card right there. I'm almost tempted to do another triple threads. Having some good luck. But we just did two. I've got a bunch of triple threads left. Looks like, maybe not a bunch, but it looks like seven boxes, seven master boxes. Let's go ahead and do a gold label now. Here we go. Gold label for Mr. Adam. How old am I turning, RJ? I'll be 40 in about an hour and a half. Hour and 43 minutes. All right, Adam, you're up. Let's see what we can find for you. That's your gold pack. Your gold framed card is in there. What about Manny Ramirez for the Hall of Fame? I don't think he's going to make the Hall of Fame. He's um, all, the, what do you have, like three failed tests or something like that? He was a, he's a PED guy. Best of luck to you, Adam. Here we go. Edmund says, first break today. It's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday to your mom. That's pretty awesome. There's Chipper Jones out of 50. Freddie Freeman. Sly LA's not... He's getting tired of gold label. Luckily for you, gold label's a quick rip. There's Bo Bichette rookie card. Mike Clevenger, Mookie Betts. Shane Bieber batting, class two. There's another class two of Kershaw handling the lumber. Hey, Jack, how's it going? Say, Jabs, I'm back. Anything big? I guess the biggest thing since your hit was the DECA relic autograph of Juan Soto out of Triple Threads. Here we go, Adam. Your gold framed card. It is going to be a, it's a Cleveland Indian. I'm guessing that that is going to be, I see a bat. Bobby Bradley is my guess, and that is who it is. Bobby Bradley. Leo says, happy birthday from my daughter Snow and I. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much for watching. Adam, thank you very much. So your box is in the books. Let's go ahead now. And um, Melissa says, love the way you do this. I can hear you, and you do a great job showing everything very clearly. You're the best 
Uh, you are the only one and the best. Melissa, thank you very, very much for the kind words. I really appreciate that. Very, very nice of you to say. And what do I think of Top Sapphire? Um, I think the Top Sapphire is just like a giant lottery ticket. You might get lucky, you might not. Let's do another Immaculate. I like Immaculate. $300 Panini product right here. Kyle's up right now. Best of luck to you, Kyle, in spot number four. I see how's it going. All right. Let's see what we can find. What does JAB stand for? Just about baseball stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Here we go, Kyle. We have a haze. No, that's a uh, Ramon Lariano there on the top for Kyle. Let's see if we got a big hit in here. Usually the first few cards are relics. Ramon Laureano out of 99 is the first one. Next up, we have a Hall of Famer. It is going to be Tim Raines. Game use bat, 8 out of 25. Dylan, how's it going? Next up, another relic. It's a Manny Machado out of 49. 32 of 49, Manny Machado. Next up, Edwin Rios from the Los Angeles Dodgers. His autograph on a bat with a piece of the jersey. Numbered out... What's uh, there it is, 49, 40 of 49. And then we have a nice hit right here, Pete Alonso. 32 out of 99. That might be the best hit of the box. Pete Alonso, remember his autographs were just crazy. They went down a little bit, but um, I don't know if Pete Alonso can bounce back next year. Maybe just a sophomore slump with the batting average of this year. Rico Garcia is the next one out of 10. Nice eye black. And the last card out of 49 is Jake Fraley. Uh, game used bat with his autograph on there with a piece of the jersey. So, Kyle, thank you very much. That's your box of Immaculate. Nice Pete Alonso auto in there for you. What shall I do next? What shall I do next? Let's do a chrome jumbo. Derek gets the full box, all five autographs. Let's see what we can find for you. Best autograph we found of the night from Chrome was the Randy Arazarania, $1,000 gold wave auto out of 50. Best hit of the night was a Mike Trout out of 15 out of um, gold label. Four out of 15 gold framed auto, Mike Trout. And there I was thinking it was going to be like a Matt Thice. Icy, thank you very much. You never know. Just make videos and see what happens. Here we go, Derek. Spot seven and eight. He's got the full box. Let's see what we can find for you. We'll rip the entire left-hand side first and see what happens here. What's the trout worth? Uh, I think a lot of people were quoting sixteen hundred to two thousand dollars on that card. It went to Mister Jack Townsend. He's the lucky recipient of that. Best card of the night. Kyle Lewis, rookie card. Also pulled about a $600 Logan Allen autograph. Not that one, but a $600 Juan Soto Deca Relic autograph booklet. Gavin Lux. No, it says, for the $3 sub per month, can I enter one of these breaks? Yeah, that's how it works. So for $3 a month, you unlock all of my posts on Patreon. And you can see every post and you can sign up for the breaks. Obviously you're going to have to pay for the box. This is a $400 box of cards. You don't just say, Hey, yeah, I'll take a, a box of Chrome. You have to still pay for that, but um, at least sell them on Patreon. I don't have to pass along the 10% eBay fees to you. Uh, otherwise I'd have to sell it for 400 and if, uh, like a $400 box, for example, would be 440 because of the 10% that eBay tax on. Let's see what we can find. Autograph number two, it's going to be a Lewis Thorpe. So two autos, nothing crazy so far. There's five autos per box. Hopefully you can find another Randy Arizarania. I feel like we're finding his autos a lot in Chrome. We've found one already. I bet you we find another one before the night's through. Yuan Moncada, Walker Bueller, Blake Snell, um, Michael Chavis, Luis Robert coming up. Nice one right there. Luis Robert rookie card. Get that one top loaded for you, Derek. Still, I would say at the end of the season, 
I don't know. Who's the number one rookie in terms of value? Is it Luis Robert or is Randy Arizarani going to pass him and take the crown leading into the offseason here? We'll see about that. I feel like it's still probably Luis Robert right now, but I don't know. If uh, the Rays win the World Series and Arizarani wins the MVP of the World Series, that could change. This cards have just been going up and up and up. I know this is possible, but I think long-term it's Robert. Yeah, he looks like the real deal. All right, here we go for Derek. What are my World Series predictions? I picked the Rays over the Dodgers in seven. and I'm not. That's not a recent prediction. I made that one back at the uh, start of the, the playoffs. Like It was like game one. Like the playoffs just started, and people said, hey, what are your picks? And I, I picked the, the Rays over the Dodgers in the World Series way back then. I got to stick to that. Luckily for me, it's worked out pretty well. Bruce Star Gratterall rookie card. Everybody knows his name now. He's becoming a household name, playing on the big stage. There's Mookie Betts. Card sticking there. So these are sticking just a tad. So I wonder if in 10 years these are going to be all stuck together. There's a nice Randy Arozarena rookie card back when he was with the Cardinals. Got to get that one sleeved up now. And the third auto, I think it's number three, it's Joe Palumbo. Remember, there's five autos per Chrome box. Bryce Harper, Willie Adames, kind of a cheerleader with the uh, Rays. Nice player, too. He's always up on that top step of the dugout. Jesus Lusardo rookie card. D. Strange Gordon. There's Robel Garcia. Nice one out of 150. Blue Wave Auto. Nico Horner. Dylan Cease. Should be one more autograph in this little stack of cards, I would imagine. I think I've counted four so far for you. Derek, and there it is, Jose Rodriguez, number 63. It's going to be your fifth and final autograph from this box. Let's check out the rest of these cards. Christian says, I got my Randy Auto Chrome last week for 90 That's probably doubled in price. Jordan Alvarez will sleeve up for you. All right, so that's the Chrome box for Derek. Let's move on to a different box now. Let's see, where shall I turn next? Bound. Any suggestions, guys? What you want me to open next? Give you some of the uh, Bowman Chrome next, says Edmund. All right, you got it. It's the first one I saw when I looked back, and now I see why, because <laughs> you're up. Best of luck to you, Edmund. Let's do a Bowman Chrome box and see what we can find. Spot number 13 for Edmund and spot number 14 for Bob. Splitting this one up. Let's see how you guys do here. Bob gets that box. Edmund gets this box. And away we go. Spot number 13. Make sure there's no packs hiding out in there. BRD says, I really like the way Triple Thread looks. Yeah, I love Triple Threads as well. Jack says, I couldn't find any Mike Trouts like mine on eBay. Well, Jack, there's only 15 of them out there. So I'll tell you what you might want to do. Throw it up on eBay for $3,000 best offer. And a lot of people are telling you you have about a $1,600 to $2,000 card. If you get any offers around that, maybe take it. If you're if you're set on selling it, maybe um maybe you don't PC trot. Maybe you have some something else you want to buy with $2,000. You can flip that trout into $2,000. And, you know, maybe you only want to buy a $500 card and use the rest to, I don't know. You, I, did you say you were doing homework? So are you like a teenager in uh, college? Maybe put that towards a car or something. That's pretty crazy, man. Sixto Sanchez, my first car that I bought cost $1,500. I could have bought my first car with that trout that you pulled today and still had 500 left over. There's a Tucapita Marcano out of 25. Nice orange for you, Edmund. That's a nice one right there. He's 13. Jack says, I am a teenager. Well, if I were you then, if I was a teenager and I pulled a $2,000 card, I would sell it and um, I would take most of the money and put it towards a car or something like that. Maybe save it for college. And then I'd, you know, use some of the proceeds and buy a card in my PC. Ike says his first car was eight fifty. Yeah, those were the days, right? Javier, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. I appreciate that. 
Yeah, two thousand dollars. That's good money for a teenager. It took me a long time to save up that much when I was a teenager. All right, Bob. Let's see what we can find for you in spot number fourteen. Yeah, it was a junky car, but hey, it got me from point A to point B, and it lasted until I got my teaching job. Literally died day two of teaching and would not start anymore. So I was like, all right, I've got an actual real job now. I can just, you know, get my first real car. All right, so we've got a Monte Harrison out of 99. Nice green Byron Laura base card. C. Full says the first car that he bought himself was 6500 bucks. That's a pretty pricey car for the first car, I think. Shogo out of 499 Is there a card sticking to that? No. Where's the autograph? There it is. Trey Harris, first Bowman. Jack's only 13 years old. Wow. I'll tell you what, man. If you're 13 years old, definitely sell the card, get your 2000 bucks, and you know, put at least 1500 of that aside and start saving up because, trust me, when you're 16 or so... You're going to want to have a nice little nest egg for a car and all, you know, all kinds of other stuff. That's a nice uh, start. All right. Yeah. Yes, WV, I do. Let's get these put away. Thank you very much, guys, for participating in that box. Who's up next? Let's go and do. Let's go back to gold label. Well, I'll tell you what the nice thing about it there. Jack is that it's likely not going to go down because it's Mike Trout, the best player in baseball, if anything. The card might only go up and up and up, I would hope. All right, Tim. You're up right now in spot number 10. Jay Bax says, I flipped a lot of burgers to get that car. So did I, man. So did I. I started out in fast food just like a lot of folks did. Worked in fast food for, so I don't know. Four years. Clads Card says, Hey, Jabs, thank you for the package with the Boog Pal. Sending it into PSA. Clads, hey, yeah, you won the uh, Boog Pal from the uh, Mystery Box Monday giveaway. Glad that it arrived safe and sound. Let's see what we can find here for you, Tim. That's right, Shmurda. You got it. That's that's That was me. Good old BK Eric. There is uh, Jorge Soler of 99. Uh, Mike Trout, Class 1. Andrew McCutcheon. Zach Gallon rookie card. Javi Baez. Zach Gallon again. Max Kepler. Nolan Ryan. We did have a... Uh, <laughs> you're at BK too. We did have a Luis Robert out of 75 red rookie card come out of here earlier, which is a $200 card. There's a nice Gavin Lux. Get out of here. Tim, there's no way that we hit two Mike Trout autographs in the same case. No way. Could it be? <laughs> you From this case, if you just joined us about an hour ago, we pulled a Mike Trout out of 15 gold-framed autograph. It's worth about $1,600 to $2,000. And that's Matt Theis. That's who I was expecting last time. And, uh, man, poor Matt Theis. <laughs> Matt Theis walks in the room. Everyone just kind of like their shoulders slump down. Tim, sorry about that. I thought maybe there was an outside chance. But that would have been nuts to pull two Mike Trouts in the same case. If there's like a factory error and they put two of the Trouts in the same case. Instead of splitting them up between cases. All right, next up, let's go ahead and uh, let's do a Chronicles box. This is the last box of Chronicles that I have that's pre-sold. I still have a whole stack of them if anybody wants more Chronicles boxes. But this is the last one in the pre-sold portion. So here we go. Tim, you have, uh, I think I just opened your box, right? So back-to-back -back boxes here. Let's see what we can find for you. Three autographs and a relic in here. Here we go. Let's find the starting point. All right, we got a Gavin Lux flawless card. There's Luis Robert. Tons and tons of Luis Robert auto or not autos, but um, cards in this base card. There's a Brendan McKay autograph. Origins. That's a nice looking card right there. Another McKay. Danny Mendick. Brock Burke. And Cody Bellinger. I bet you we pull four Luis Roberts out of this box. We already got one. We'll see. 
This next one feels like a thicker pack, probably a relic in here, or maybe a Spectre card. All right, there's a Charlie Morton out of 100 for the Tampa Bay Rays, and Jonathan Davis that is a nice Spectra Signatures card right there. So that's your second hit. Mike Trout, Sutsugo, Shogo, and another Gavin Lux. So it might be the Gavin Lux box. Yeah, Freddie Freeman's got a good shot at getting the NL MVP, Tyler. I would say so. All right, Tim. We've got another Gavin Lux on the back, Dustin May. Your Don Alvarez. Let's switch these around. Blake Snell. And we... Oh, is it going to be a Dylan Cease auto? That'd be nice. Yes, a Dylan Cease auto out of 90. Nice card right there. I like Dylan Cease a lot. Uh, Tevin, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. I don't know if Crenworth is going to get into arc, or, uh, update or not. We'll have to see. The checklist should be out at some point, I would imagine. Hopefully sometime this week. I wouldn't be surprised if there's no rookies in there, and it's just, um, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do it. I'll be interested. There's our second Luis Robert of the box. I predicted four. Sometimes you have like three in the same pack. Clad's cards, thank you very much. Only about an hour and 25 minutes until my birthday now. There's Aristides Aquino, Danny Mendick, Obsidian, Raphael Devers, and Bregman is the last one there. Next pack for Tim. Thank you, uh... Adina Beck, I hope I said that right. Paul Goldschmidt, there's Carlos Santana, Jordan Alvarez. I think you might have one autograph left in here. Mike Trout, last card in that one. Here we go. Tim, spot number three, Boston Beast. Thank you very much. Who do I think JT Real Muto is going to? I don't know. I wish it would be the Pirates, but I know they would never spend that money. Nico Horner. Then now we have an Aaron Nola is the relic. Aaron Nola, it's numbered, by the way, out of 49. Bobby Bradley, Michael Baez, Dubon, and Vladdy. So only two Roberts in that box. Some of the boxes we had a bunch more Roberts than that. So, Tim, thank you very much. Next box up, which direction shall I turn? How about we go with uh, Bowman Chrome? Yeah, Edmund, you can still you can send over PayPal and just make sure you put in the description box if you're a late to the party, so to speak. If you're a late entrant, make make sure that you put what box you're paying for. That would definitely help. Rich has this entire master box. By the way, this is the last prepaid um, Bowman Chrome box. I still have a bunch more. I have a whole other case off camera that we could do. So that. Let's get to ripping these. See what we can find. Cindy says, I chatted to Trevor Bauer and told him not to go to the Yankees, whatever he does. I think that Trevor Bauer wouldn't do that because Trevor Bauer literally hates, with a burning passion, Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole and Trevor Bauer have been adversaries ever since their college days. You can look it up. There's a Fernando Tatis out of 99. Uh, I feel like his main desire would <laughs> – he'd probably want to go to Boston or something to knock Cole out of the playoffs. Uh, Bauer said to the media, the media has overblown everything with Cole. Yeah, he hates his gut. There's Yvonne Herrera first. Bowman Otto. Yu Chang rookie, a Cole Roder -er out of 150. Randy Arizarania rookie card. Dan, there's still spots available. Yeah, plenty of spots available. Jack Towns says, What are the chances there will be a shipping error and my mic truck goes to the wrong person? 0% uh, chance. Your name's on the, the uh, stack of cards there. And you'll, it will have to be signed for. And that's just one that. Uh, that's one that I remember. Like if, when I look at that card, I know it's yours. And I'm going to be um, shipping that one with the signature confirmation that you're going to have to sign for it. Or your mom. Someone will have to be home to sign for it. Muncie Maxi with a 101 Super Chat. So thank you very much, Max Muncie. Some people say, hey, it's Max Muncie's fault for that throw just a little offline to Will Smith yesterday. I think Muncie may have, he probably saw Arizarania fall down head first and kind of got a little confused. I'm not confused, but 
probably just surprised and threw it just a little bit wide. Will Smith didn't know that he had all day to just turn around and throw Arizarena out, but uh, tried to get the tag back as quickly as possible, a la Mike Lavalier back in the 92 NLCS trying to tag out Sid Bream, but uh, swiped the glove away a little too fast. There's an Estevan Florial out of 499. Ball goes to the backstop, and Arizarena comes home to score the winning run. Man, that could be pretty crazy. The, the series could be over. Here's a crazy hit right here. Francisco Alvarez out of 499. This card's worth a couple hundred bucks. Uh, nice. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I think this one's worth a couple hundred bucks, Rich, believe it or not. That's a great hit. Out of 499. That's one of the top hits from Bowman Crumb. Congratulations on the Frankie Alvarez numbered out of 499 auto. That's a great hit, actually. Card says, let's freaking go Mets. LFGM, the let's freaking go Mets hashtag. All right, next up, Bowman Chrome is done for now, unless we have some add-ons. Let's go ahead and do, let's do a gold label for Carson. Still have, um, looks like, seven boxes of triple threads. I'll do a triple threads after this one. Nothing's left in there now, so... There's your autograph. Best of luck to you, Carson. Now, we had Mike Trout come out of this case. We had Matt Feist come out of this case. And let's see if we can find somebody in between for you now. How about... Uh, who wants to call the gold-framed auto from this? Any guesses? I'm going to call Nick Solak. That's my guess. It's more impressive if you call it before the pack is opened up. I'm calling Nick Solak. There's a Boba Shed. Daddy Daughter is calling Kyle Lewis. Willie Castro says Jay back. Shout out to you, Cards, with a Z. Thank you very much for watching. Nathan's calling Ara Zarania. Josh James is calling, or Dan's calling Josh James. Dustin Massey, Dubon. Max Kepler, Lourdes Guriel Jr., Giolito, Brian Abreu says Oliver and Corey. So that's the uh, clubhouse leader at the moment there. Bobby Bradley says baseball boy. Trent Grissom says cards. All right, here we go. It is going to be a – oh, it's a Diamondback. It is going to be Cattell Marte, red ink. That's, that's kind of right in between there. That's a nice one. Don't really ever expect to get too many veterans in gold label. Typically, if you watch a lot of gold label, it's almost all rookie autos on these gold frames. That's a nice one right there. So a surprise. Carson, congratulations on that. It's not Nick Solak like I guess. Solak would have been pretty good, but that's even better. Congratulations on that one. Carson, it's not numbered, unfortunately. I checked the back, and um, it's just a uh, nice red ink on that one. Kind of cool. All right, next, I said Triple Threads was due up, and let's do Triple Threads right now for Joe T. He's got spots 15 and 16 of Triple Threads. Let's see what we can find. I think right after this, I'm going to get a nice big bowl of cereal. Getting a little bit hungry. All right, wow, that feels like a thick, thick pack. Maybe a booklet? We'll see. Yep, a booklet. Booklet alert. Joe, congratulations. I thought that pack felt pretty thick. Now let's see who it is. It's going to be a, uh, let's just look at your base cards. So on the back, you have an Aloy Jimenez out of 275 and Bryce Harper out of 199. We have a Brendan McKay relic. That one's out of 36. And it's going to be a DECA autograph relic booklet. So that's our second one in this case. We had one earlier, and we got a little confused. I thought it was 10 autographs, but it was actually 10 relics with an autograph on there. Our last booklet, like this, was a Juan Soto with 10 pieces of his jersey cut up and his autograph right smack dab in the middle. Let's see who this one is for Joe. Congratulations, Joe. There's your 10 pieces of memorabilia, or at least five of them. You're going to have the autograph in the middle. Solo's calling Judge. It is going to be a... Why are you not opening? 
did is there a production error here? There, there we go. It is wow, it's Juan Soto again. Literally, we've pulled two of this exact same card. I think we had was it a, a seven out of ten or a nine out of ten? It's the same card again in the same case. A seven of ten and an eight of ten. Six hundred dollar card though, Joe. We'll take that. How about that? Two Juan Soto deck of booklets? You gotta be kidding me. There's only 10 of those around, and they're both in the same case. That's pretty awesome. $600 card is what the uh, other one, that, yeah, eight left out there. So we're cornering the market on DECA auto booklets of Juan Soto. Let's see what we can find now for Joe in his second side. There's a Gavin Lux, Frankie Lindor, Reese Hoskins out of 99, Mark McGuire. Your first hit's going to be an Austin Riley out of 25, 18 to 25. Nice Austin Riley autograph. And the hit is going to be a future Hall of Famer right there. Keep him alive. Yadier Molina. Nice one. I know Daddy Daughter would love that one. Schmerta says those booklets with the tape like that are so bad. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the tape to hold them together. Joe, congratulations on your booklet. A very, very nice hit right there. Juan Soto, $600 hit. Take that one all day, every day, for sure. All right, so next up, let's go ahead. And how about we do a chrome jumbo box? This one's for Charles. Five autographs coming your way. Let's see what we can find now. Let's get five packs on that side, five packs on that side. Card says, I live chrome. I love chrome. Do I have anything left to buy? Yeah, plenty left to buy, actually. Lots of Chronicles, lots of Bowman Chrome, lots of Immaculate. No more triple threads. If you want Alan and Ginter, I'd have to go downstairs to get some more boxes of that. I'll probably do Alan and Ginter soon. All right, we've got uh, lots of gold label left. All righty, Charles, let's see what we can do for you here. Five autographs. In Bowman Chrome, first one's Robel Garcia. Jack says it's hit or miss with gold label. Yeah, definitely a hit for you, though. That's for sure. Kyle Schwarber. Bronny Rips Junk says I just sent you a PayPal for Chronicles. All right, we'll be adding you here at the end after I get through all the prepaid. Uh, Triple Threads is sold out, but I still have six boxes to open up for you guys. I think it's sold out. I have to double check. Maybe there'll be a, like a mini box or box left over at the end. Kyle Lewis, a rookie card. Gavin Lux, rookie card. There's the second autograph. It is a Tyler Alexander. We've got a JV Justin Verlander card there for you. So two autos, Bo Bichette, base rookie card. Here comes a purple, Luis Urias. That one's out of $2.99, refractor of Conforto. Josh Hader, Chris Paddock. Two autos in the book. I think the other three are all going to be on the right-hand side. Yep, here we go. Let's see what we can find for you, Charles. From this side of the box. Baseball on five is back. How's it going? You missed two Juan Soto DECA booklets. Nathan says, did you vote yet? No, I'll go to vote on election day in person. How much is Chronicles? Um, I think it's 149. All right, Charles, let's see what we got. Yeah, 149 is the Chronicles price. There's Aloy Jimenez. Luis Robert 85. We'll get that one sleeved up for you. Chris Bryant. All right, three autographs are going to be coming up here. There's the Luis Robert. Probably going to be one of the more valuable cards from the box. Hopefully one of these three autos coming up will be valuable. There's a nice orange out of 25. Aaron Savali. Very, very nice one right there. I don't know what that's worth. Probably 30 bucks, I'd imagine. Savali had a nice season. There's the Randy Arzarania rookie card. We'll get him sleeved up. There's Jake Fraley as the third autograph, not 
much fanfare around that one. Jordan Alvarez. All right, here we go. I think there's still two autographs. Maybe I miscounted, but there. Oh, that's a nice one. Gavin Lux purple. There we go. Out of 250. So congratulations on that one, Charles. His cards have gone down a little bit, but I still feel like Gavin Lux is going to be a great player. Hang on to that one because I think it's going back up. Congratulations. Let's see if you have one more in here. Yeah, for a while there, Gavin Lux autos were usually averaging around $200. And Kyle Garlick is the fifth and final autograph from the Bowman Chrome Jumbo for Charles. So, Charles, thank you very much. Allow me to get your cards put away. All right, next up, I think we should go for... I haven't done any Allen and Ginter in a while. Let's do an Allen and Ginter box. We'll get back into some triple threads after that. Price for a Bowman spot, two nineteen for a Master for Bowman. All right, who's my next triple threads or my my Allen and Ginter? It's going to be Mister Derek. BRD says, "Do more triple threads. I want to see you pull more, more booklets." All right, triple threads coming up right after this box. Allen and Ginter is pretty. Quick rip. Takes about five minutes to go through a hobby box. All right, so here we go. Spot number three. All my stacks are getting a little bit low, so we're getting down towards the end of the break before I do the add-ons. Do some add-on boxes for folks that want to get in late. High school graduate says, I am the person that loves Allen and Ginter. Yes, some people definitely love Allen and Ginter. Three hits per hobby box. Let's see what we can find. All right, Derek. Dan Lloyd is here. DD Gregorius. Dan, thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Hope you guys will check out Dan's channel. There's a Luis Robert mini rookie card. How much for a box of triple play? It's triple threads, and um, I'm sold out of those. I charged $319 per box, which is uh, less than I saw at anywhere at any of the card shows that I was at this weekend. The cheapest I saw was $325. Uh, man, Triple Thread's taken off. Everyone loves that release. So we've got a D.D. Gregorius as the first card there. Let's see what we can find for Derek. In his next stack. I feel like it goes Relic, Relic, Autograph so far. So we'll see if that trend continues here with Derek. How much is a box of Allen and Ginter? 124. All right, so there's Marcel Azuna. What a nice season for him on the one-year deal for the Bravos. I think it was a one-year deal. Miguel Andujar, man, his stock has really fallen off the face of the earth. Game used jersey for Andujar. A couple years ago, I was all about collecting all of his rookie cards. And, man, it just seems like he's just kind of disappeared. Nice Gavin Lux. Where exactly do you get your products? Same place you could. Just uh, buy online. I just buy them by the cases. I don't have any, like, ins with the factories or anything like that. There's a Luis Robert. I don't – I can't buy – I wish the tops would directly deal with me. That would be very, very nice. And um, just have not, um, they've never actually contacted me. I'd love to buy directly from them. Oh, all right. I get another 5,000 count box queued up here. All right, Derek, let's check out your last stack. There should be an autograph in there, at least. If the other boxes are any indication, that's what you'll have coming. Some folks have given me some advice that I should get like a. Uh, a resale license and then you can buy directly from Tops. But if you do that, you have to also buy all their WWE product and their like soccer cards and stuff like that. So I feel like that might be more of a pain than it's worth. 
like if you want to order X amount of boxes of, or cases of this, you have to buy X amount of soccer cards. Triple threads coming up next, baseball one. How about we'll do it right after a box of those, after this Allen and Ginter box. See who that, I think there's a framed, oh, the Mark McGuire's the framed card. Nice one. Mark McGuire. I know a lot of you guys still love Big Mac. That's a nice card right there. So three relics in the box, but that last one is a good one. Wish I would have gotten a Mark Wire autograph. I had a chance to once in Cleveland. He was signing a bunch of autographs, but I got there just a few seconds too late, and he went into the dugout and disappeared. Todd is here. It says, Jabs, love the channel and had to share with the community. I had the pool of a lifetime this afternoon from a triple threads hobby box, a one-of-one -one cut auto of Honest Wagner. What? How about that? That That is uh, the pool of a lifetime. We get a bonus hit here out of 10. A Jose Barrios framed cloth. So did you happen to like show that off on your channel at all? I feel like that's that's absolutely crazy. I mean, I've pulled a Honus Wagner game used jersey before and I went berserk over that. But imagine finding a cut auto. Check out Todd's channel, man. That's if you haven't put it up yet, please put up a video of that so we can all see that. That would be absolutely insane. I would lose my mind if I found that one. The odds of finding that are one in, who knows, one in a million, it seems like. I don't know how many boxes they made. Let's check out your um, N43 card. It is a Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant for Derek. All right, next up, I said we do triple threads. So I will honor that. Where's my next triple threads nameplate? Here it is. It's for Jack H. Let's see what we can find for you. In spots 17 and 18. 17 and 18 for Jack. Best of luck to you, man. I think Jack's had some pretty darn good luck with triple threads. Let's see if we can pull him another. I think he had a Nolan Ryan. And then we'll do Dan's triple threads right after this. Dan T standing by, hopefully. Let's see what we can find for you. There's DeGrom out of 299 and Brennan McKay out of 275. Your hits, you have a Brandon Lau out of 50. Nice one right there. Pulled that one. That's the second time we pulled that one. And Yachty Molina for the second time. Nice game used relic of Yachty. Seven out of 18. Let's check the other box for you, Jack. See what we've got. We have a Lou Gehrig, DeGrom and Springer as the base cards. You got a Derek Jeter out of 299, and Jose Altuve is out of 275. Trent Grissom is going to be the relic. So the autograph, Chad, thank you very much for supporting the channel, becoming a member. I really appreciate that. That's out of 18. All right, Jack, your autograph is going to be a Seth Brown triple relic. Triple Relic, Seth Brown. Someone said I missed a Super Chat. I do apologize if I do. I think I got Todd. We just talked about that one for a while. Maybe you're on a delay if you think that I missed that one. Nice one right there, Jack. Thank you very much. All right, now it's Dan T's turn at a Triple Threads box. Let's see what we can find for Dan. Hopefully it's uh, some big-time hits. Triple Threads. Let's see if it could continue to deliver some good stuff. Best of luck to Dan. Caden says he saw the uh, card on Instagram, on Todd's Instagram today, the one of one. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what that's, what could you sell that for? 10 grand? That is a huge pool. Dylan says, wonder what your trash pile looks like right now. Yeah, it's, uh, at least we still have some light coming from the right side. It's almost up to blocking the, uh, the light stand that I have. All right, so Dan Goldschmidt, Bueller, and Bench. We also have Gavin Lux, rookie out of 199, and Frankie Lindor out of 50. The hits are going to be a Jeff McNeil auto out of 75. Purple, 40 of 75, and the relic. You got yourself a Jose Altuve. Let's see if there's any piece of buzzer in there. 10 out of 36. Don't see any buzzer. So Triple B says, hey, Eric. You have fire hands tonight. I really put emphasis on value with my mystery packs, and I need a boost. I lost my job, so 
Sales will help Triple P car or Triple B car brakes. I hope you guys will check him out and check his channel out. I know that he won a Saturday showdown and won like what 20 or 30 autographs. Probably a bunch of those are in those Saturday showdowns. So sorry, man, about the job. It's, you had terrible, terrible times right now with the whole pandemic for a lot of folks. And uh, Triple B, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check him out and maybe check out his mystery boxes. Thank you very much for the support. If you want to send me a sample pack, I'll do it in, in our next compilation. There's a Jesus Lusardo of 275 and JD Martinez out of 199. We've got a Carlos Correa as the relic. That one's out of 27, 16 of 27. All right, here's the auto for Dan. It Oh, it's a triple auto. Nice one right there. Colorado Rockies. You have Hall of Famer Larry Walker, possible future Hall of Famer Todd Helton, and Nolan Arenado also could be a future Hall of Famer someday out of 27. Very nice one right there. So that kind of saves that box for a second there. I thought Dan was going to have a Astros box with the uh, Correa and Altuve, but that saves it. A triple relic auto. Nice hit right there. Dan, thank you very much. And we're not done with Dan. We're going to do his other box right now. He also has a box of Immaculate. Let's see what we can find from that for him. Hopefully there's a nice hit in here. Good old Immaculate. How much is a pink Robert rookie? I don't know. Check out eBay and see what recently sold are going for. Do I have any Mike Trout autos? Me, personally, I wish. Best Trout card I have is this 2011 Topps update. It's, um, I don't know what that one's going for now. It's raw. It's probably worth, uh, I don't know, a thousand bucks. We got a button relic auto as the first card right there for you, Dan. It's a Trent Grisham button relic auto. Pretty cool one right there. I like that one a lot. Four of four. Card number two, it's going to be a Nate Lowe. That one's 30 of 49. It is a triple relic. And this next one looks like it's going to be kind of cool. Did you see? We got a quadruple relic of immaculate moments. We have the NFL MLB <laughs> quadruple relic. You have Russell Wilson. You have Tim Tebow, Bo Jackson, and Deion Sanders. How about that one? That is a pretty awesome relic right there. It is out of 25. Pretty cool. I feel like something, I don't know anything about football, but I feel like something like that one might be worth like 100 bucks. People love Tebow cards. Russell Wilson, famous quarterback in the NFL. Tony says, now we're talking. That is a sweet card. Bo Jackson. Javier says that one's worth $500. We'll see if uh, some other quotes come in from people doing research on that one before I call that 500 bucks. I'd say my first instinct is 100. Joe says that's a bad A card. That is a nice one. Triple B says that's his favorite card of the night. Next one we have is a Trace Barrera out of 49 autograph. We also have a matinee Gary Sanchez out of 25. Nice card right there. And the last card is Bobby Bradley. So the best card in that box is that quad NFL or the quad football relic. Very nice uh, relic card for Dan in that box. I don't know what that one goes for. How much is an immaculate box? Is Lucas there $2.99 per box? All right, so that's it for immaculate for now, unless some other folks buy a spot. Let's go ahead and do another chrome box. This one's for Tracy. Five autographs. Best of luck to you, Tracy. Let's see what we can do. Donald, how's it going? Still have four Triple Threads boxes left that we'll be breaking tonight. And a bunch more of Gold Label as well. And one more of Allen and & Ginter. And then we have some add-ons. I think people added on a box of Chronicles. and I'll check those out here once I get through all these prepaid spots. All right, let's get your packs opened up for Tracy. All righty, Tracy. Matt Theis leads things off. Let's get to your five autographs and see if there's any nice... Oh, there's a nice one right there. Zach Gallon Blue is the first one out of 150. He had quite a season. 
Zach Gallon blew out of 50. That might end up being the best auto from this box. We'll see. Love that car. Congratulations on that one. Usually there's two autographs on the left-hand side of these boxes. Gallon still seems very underrated, says Doomsday. I agree with you. If you can pick up his card in the 10 cent box, I saw that this weekend at the card shows. Jacob Wagasback is the next one right there. Autograph number two in the books. Not worth all that much, but kind of an interesting one. JLW, thank you very much for being here and for the birthday wishes. A nice Tatis purple. That one's out of $2.99. Got a Dansby Swanson, Corey Seager, Aristide Sacchino. His cards have really gone down. Justin Dunn Prism Refractor. Next stack for Tracy. Mauricio Dubon's on the back. Jose Urania's on the back of that pack. All right, so you have three autographs coming to you out of these six packs. Luis Robert coming up, said somebody, I think. Yeah, we haven't put any Luis Robert autos tonight. Let's see if we can change that. No one of ones tonight either. We did have some really big hits tonight, though, so far. All right, let's see what we can find. Looks like I see a gold out of 50 coming up, about halfway down this stack. Gallon was my high school bat boy, says Eagle. That's pretty awesome. Kyle Lewis Prism rookie card refractor. That's a nice one right there. I don't know. Is that one worth 50 bucks? Maybe. Here comes the gold. It is going to be a Mike Yastrzemski out of 50. That's a nice one. He had a great year this year. 8 of 50, Mike Yastrzemski. Lux and Cease rookie cards. Come on, where's our three autographs that we're expecting? There's Mike Brousseau. Nice one right there for the Tampa Bay Rays. Had that big, big home run off of Chapman. Jack says some great hits tonight. Yeah, definitely some great hits tonight in this mixer break. Thank you very much for hanging out, everybody, on this Sunday evening. As we wind down here, there's Bruce Star Gratterall rookie card. Another nice hit. Of course, now everyone knows him as a member of the Dodgers. A couple nice rookies there with Robert and Bichette. Another Zach Gallon, Dustin May. Final rookie card, TJ Zook. So you got two Blue Jays autos there, Wagasback and Zook, but a nice Zach Gallon and Bruce Star Gratterall autos in there. Tracy, thank you very much. That's your box in the books. Next up, let's get back into it for Triple Threads. Who's my next Triple Threads contestant? Looks like it's going to be Mr. Dustin. Let's get Tracy's cards put away. All right, what can we find for you, Dustin, in spot number 21? And you're sharing this spot with Mr. Eric E. Here we go. Get some of these pack wrappers out of my way. Why did the Dodgers never bring in Bruce Dark Gratterall when they need him? I don't know. I feel like they tried that a couple games ago, and he gave up a big, uh, big hit. All right, Dustin, you've got the first spot. Let's see what we can find for you. Seven cards in this box. Tony Gwynn, Mike Schmidt, Garrett Cole. The middle two are going to be your hits. Brian out of 275, Mike Schmidt out of 199. Mike Brousseau is your first hit. It is an auto, so we're seeing a couple of his recently pop up. Just had his autograph last box. That's out of 99. And your relic, Dustin, it's going to be Austin Riley. Owning lefties, 23 of 36. So, Dustin, that's your pack. Thank you very much. Let's check out the other side of the box now for Eric E. See what we can find for him. First card on the top is a base card of Miggy, Miguel Cabrera. You have a redemption in here, so you can see the redemption blue. Let's see who that's going to be. Frank Thomas out of 99. We've got a Josh Donaldson out of 299. And we have a Bryce Harper out of 9. Relic 6 of 9. And here we go, the relic. It is going to be for Eric. You are due to receive an autograph relic card of... 
Christian Yelich, not too shabby there. Christian Yelich had a down season, but hey, he's still uh, still a star in my book. Let's do another triple threads box. Eric, here we go. He has a master box as well with that mini box. Let's see what we can find for him. Best of luck to you. Round two for Eric E. Spot number 23 and 24. A nice Christian Yelich autograph relic. Now you have Willie Mays. These base cards, they're pretty nice. Aristides Aquino, Freeman out of 275, and Garrett Cole out of 199. Your hit, the first up, Raphael Devers autograph out of 99. It's numbered 11 of 99. And you also have a triple relic from some Cubbies. Anthony Rizzo, Chris Bryant, and Javi Baez. And that one is numbered 17 of 27. Nice looking relic right there. Let's check out the other side of the box. Caden says, triple threads looks so good. And honestly, most decent players hits out of triple threads are cheap. Yeah, it's a beautiful product for sure. I love triple threads. Let's see what Eric can find in his last box of triple threads. There's a Nolan Ryan base card. We got a Strasburg out of 199. And a Daryl Strawberries out of 75. Your Don Alvarez out of 36. 11 of 36 relic. And we have a... Autograph relic of Todd Helton, a unique cycle out of 18. Todd Helton signed a lot of Triple Threads cards, and that's pretty good. Might be a future Hall of Famer. Nice hit right there. Todd Helton, Eric, thank you very, very much. You are in the books. We'll go ahead and put your cards safe and sound in the 5,000 count box. And now we'll move ahead to the next spot. Let's do a gold label. Matthew's got two gold label boxes. Boxes 12 and 13. Let's do them both. Best of luck to you, Matthew B. Anyone know when Jabs is ending the stream? I'd like to end it before midnight so I can uh, FaceTime Heather and she can wish me a happy birthday <laughs> at 12 midnight. So that's, uh, that'll probably, well, I only have a couple more boxes left to do. All right, Matt, you're up right now. Let's see what we've got. This is your first gold frame. This is your second gold frame. So let's get to ripping your two boxes and see what we've got in here. After this, Dream Miss Jewelry is up next. Campbell, thank you very much. Jack says, it's crazy how popular all sports cards got so popular. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I couldn't, I would, I, shut, I suffered from sticker shock at the Chantilly show today. Like, everything was just so expensive. Couldn't even find, like, an ungraded mantle for under, like, $275. Thank you very much for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate that. All right, here we go. Donald, thank you very much. Jack did an article on school, or for school, on cards during the pandemic. Yeah, they've, uh, they've definitely shot up in value. All right, here's the contents of your two boxes, Matt. There's a Jordan Alvarez. Be nice if we could find a Luis Robert numbered card again. We found him once already. It was out of uh, 75. $200 card. Willie Mays. A couple Willie Mays. J.D. Martinez, Ozzy Albies. Uh, Cindergard, Ronald Acuna Jr. The Jordan Alvarez, by the way, is a class three, which is pretty nice. Those class threes are one in every two packs. So they're not like super, super valuable, but they're a little harder to find. And they have different photos on the front. Not a lot of numbered cards. Actually, zero numbered cards. There's a nice Boba Shet. Zero numbered cards so far. Maybe they're going to be hiding out. There's a Jordan Alvarez class one. Maybe they're hiding out in these auto packs. Let's see what we have for Matt right now. We have ourselves a Jackie Robinson base card, Clayton Kershaw, and your hit's going to be a Brewer. Uh, how about a Keston Hira would be nice. There it is, Keston Hira. Nice card right there. Called it Keston Hira gold label. All right, great hit right there. And let's see what we've got in the other one for you, Matthew. Aloy Jimenez, Xander Bogarts. Thank you very much. Constipated in Sin City. Really appreciate the kind words. 
It's a Philly. I'm going to go with Reese Hoskins. And it is JT Real Muto. So you got some nice hits right there. Two established major leaguers in Hira and Real Muto. Widely considered to be the best catcher in the game. Matthew, a nice run there of two boxes for Gold Label. Congratulations. Good pulls out of that box. All right, next up, let's do a box of... Alan and Ginter for Dream Mist Jewelry. You're up. Thank you very much for your patience. Here we go. And spot number four of Alan and Ginter. And then Mark is up next with some triple threads. Randy Arizarani is up right now. You have to let me know what he does at the dish. We'll see if the Dodgers can avoid falling down three to two. They should be up three to one right now. A lot of people think that the Dodgers should have taken last night's game. All right, Dream Miss. Two men on, one out. Babe Ruth's up at the dish. Doc Emmerich, game use relic. He's a, I think, a hockey announcer. That's worth a couple bucks, I think. Not too shabby if you're a big Penguins fan, I guess. I think he grew up or he started as a Penguins announcer at some point. I don't know. I just remember that he was uh, always on the Pirates broadcast, like here and there. And he would always talk about uh, the Penguins and stuff like that. I guess he's like an NBC national announcer, or at least was an NBC national announcer, kind of like a Joe Buck-type character. All right, Dream Mist, you got a Doc Emmerich. Let's see what we can find up next. Donald says that Doc Emmerich just announced his retirement, and Arizona flew out. So two outs now. What inning is it, Sandy? Oh, so right, doesn't like the uh, Allen and Ginter cards. Some people like them, some people don't. Bottom of the eighth, okay. Getting down to the end of it. Campbell says, Jabs, I just realized you have a pretty good prediction of getting your World Series prediction right. Wouldn't that be crazy to pick the two teams and the, the, <laughs> the winner and the amount of games? There's Sonny Gray, game-use jersey. That's a nice one. Let's see if we can find an autograph in here, though. <laughs> 